What's cracking, you fucking bush leaders, and welcome back to Sunday League, the podcast. This is episode 146, DH. Aloha. What's cracking, motherfucker? Aloha, Boski. Uh, I don't know any, any Hawaiian lingo. What, that, what do you that's got? That's all I know. Welcome back from Hawaii, man. Thank you, sir. How was Maui Waui? Maui was awesome. How was the Waui? It was very Waui. It was incredibly Waui. Nice. Yes, it was. Hell yeah. Happy to be back, though. Fuck yeah. You know, it's always a pleasure when uh, you're on the mic, which is you know every week, of course. Yeah, man. But you know you had a good co-host last week. Mm-hmm. An experienced Bringing co-host. Bringing back little Rube. Yeah. Shout out to him for holding it down. Uh, like he never never skipped a beat. Definitely, man. The experience uh, showed in the episode. Sure did. Definitely. I, we were sitting here like, you know, face to face across from the table and he's kind of like moving around, right? But he's like making sure to kind of like his mouth has just stayed on like the head of the microphone. Oh, uh, he's good at that. Keeping his really, mouth on the really head. He's really good at that. And then he, he was moving the boom arm and shit. I'm like, yeah, dude, you've done this shit before. It's Plenty clear. of times. Clear. Fielder's choice is play some catch. Yeah, buddy. I brought in some Pizza Port Brewing Spring Thrills. Oh, you ever, you ever been to Pizza Port? Uh, I, I've had a Pizza Port beer at mm-hmm. uh, Petco Park. Oh, okay. But yeah. not Pizza Port itself. Not that I recall. Okay. At so, least not you, sober. How do you like the, how do you like the beer? It's not bad, man. I do like IPAs. Okay. Um, this one here is, is pretty potent. It's dank. Ooh. It's dank. It's dank. I still remember what I asked you. What does dank mean as you spill it on your Griffey Oops. jersey? Damn. Damn it. The Griffey jersey's drunk now. Damn it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Dank. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. Now you know. Okay. Yeah. Now you know. I now do. well versed. Um, I was talking to David from the Threshers earlier, and he uh, he shared a picture of him he, of, 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 of a pizza, and it said pizza port on there. I'm like, oh, shit. So the irony that you're drinking a pizza port. Yeah. Beer. Yeah. yeah, there you go. It makes sense that it's at Petco. It's probably mm-hmm. San Diego based. I mean, yeah, San Diego based. It's yeah. got to be. It's got to be on the can somewhere, right? Carlsbad. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Pizza Port Brewing Company in Carlsbad, California. Isn't Carlsbad a little closer to us? Like as far as like downtown San Diego and all that shit. Yeah, like if we were to go from where we live down to San Diego, mm-hmm. we would pass Carlsbad. Oh, okay. So it's a little a tad yeah. closer. Yeah. Dope. Dope. Yeah, man, we gotta, we gotta, we talk about it all the time. We gotta make some time to go down to these, <laughs> set, these other areas, catch Sunday league games. It's fair. Know. It's a fair. It's fair though to say that we it's have to. to yeah, that. and it, it is fair to say that because you know we talk about these teams, but we don't see everybody. Yeah, we don't see everybody. Yeah, no, we we every week we get hit up, hit up in the DMs like, yo, what about us? What about us? Like, yeah, I I I, I hear you. I see you. Mm-hmm. Like, we don't. We're not ignoring everybody. It's nah. just it's a lot of people. Yeah, we, a lot yeah, of teams. And you keep, you know, keep popping, keep popping up, you know, keep popping yeah, up man. in the DMs but, because then, of course, yeah. you know, just naturally the light is is therefore yeah. shown on you. Yeah. And then the pressure's on. You yeah. got to win. You got to win. You want to make it so, into the power rankings? You got to win. Some wise guy once told me the squeaky wheel always gets the oil. Oh, yeah. Okay. That's the title of this week's episode, I think. <laughs> <laughs> the squeaky wheel always gets the oil. <laughs> yeah. Or how about the crying mouth always gets fed? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one, too. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're going to consider that shit. All right. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I'm back. Maui's mm. d- dope. Um, yeah. I, I will confess, and I hate to confess, I did not go to any Maui adult baseball oh, games. Oh, what happened? Was Bro, it? Just, it was, I don't. I don't know the area. So, like, is it far? Was it too far? Or n- not? Not exactly. Okay. Uh, so last weekend, when we were there, um, all the games on Sunday were played at um, at a particular field that was a, a little bit more than a half hour drive away from where we were. Okay. And on Sunday, you know, it was kind of like our last full day. In Maui. Uh-huh. So we took that as an opportunity to kind of go, you know, up and down the island from mm. the north side down the south side. Um, and the baseball field that these games were being played at was kind of like in the middle of the island. Mm. So, you know, there wasn't really an opportunity for me to, you know, pass through and stop by and see right. a game. Um, 
dude, for the most part, we were pretty much just chilling on the beaches. Yeah. The entire time. Like, there's not a whole lot else to do in Maui aside from, you know, just breathe air and surf. <laughs> breathe air and surf. Yeah. And you want to breathe funny. their air because it's like. It's pure, right? The Hawaiian breeze, dude, it was just nonstop. It's like being in an air conditioned room outside mm-hmm. the entire time. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, there's it's so wild that up and down. The highways, you know, you just see cars parked, like pulled off to the side of the road where the shore is right. and just surfboards on top of, you know, vans and mm-hmm. random cars, people living out of their cars. Probably. Yeah. There's a bunch of like uh, surfer hippies. <laughs> in Maui. <laughs> OK. And that's sick. And that's all they do. And, yeah. you know, it's not a bad life, not a bad yeah. lifestyle. Just just to chill on the beach. Yeah, Everybody but... goes home when the sun goes down. There's not a whole lot of nightlife. Right. It's really just just chilling like those those Corona commercials. Mm-hmm. Just like that, with you, you guys, you had mentioned earlier uh, off the mic. Uh, there's palm trees, right, palm trees right on the shore. And shit oh like yeah, that. yeah, man, it's and it's cool. just part of their natural landscape. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you could be on the beach just chilling under a palm tree, not a care <laughs> in the world, bro. That's dope. Not a care in the world. He's like, I'm gonna fuck about my mortgage oh. right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, give, give it a few days, but right now. I'm gonna and fuck. you know what was tempting though is because yeah, we did stop at like the only Walmart in Maui, and as mm-hmm. soon as you walk in, they have a sign. And they're hiring for <laughs> licensed opticians. Oh no shit! It's the type of shit that I do. Right, right. And they're they were offering a ten thousand dollars signing bonus. Shit, you're like, uh. I was like, that can buy me a whole lot of dad bats. <laughs> yeah, dad bats, <laughs> dad bats, <laughs> dad bats. A whole lot more dad bats than bomb bats. Uh, oh, huge fucking facts. Yeah, huge so fucking facts. it was tempting, but a uh, nine. No, I'm still here. Mm. I'm back, Boski. Welcome back. Thank you. I'm glad you made it across the ocean. Yeah, man. But it was a good time. Mom had a great time. The whole family. Um, dad was was fine at home, uh, getting mm. under the care of my aunt. Yeah. Um, a little scary though, because my wife got sick before we left on the trip. Oh shit. Yeah, she got she got pretty sick. She uh, she had to get some meds, and we weren't really sure if we were going to go after all. Mm-hmm. But ultimately, yeah. you know, when it came down, you know, to to driving to the airport, mm-hmm. we're like, are you down for it? She's like, I'm good. We're like, all right. Yeah. Got on the airplane. How you doing? I'm good. Literally, it could have been one of those like last minute things where we're like, we're not, we're not getting. Damn, on this plane. it could have been. That would have been rough. Could have been, yeah. but thankfully, you know, wife's a trooper. She's a warrior. She pulled through, and uh, hopefully, she had a good time. I'm sure she did. I'm I know sure. she did. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, so yeah, man, I'm back and uh, happy to be back. Hell yeah. Talk about all the bush league action. Back to the routine, man. A lot of something that's so underrated is is having a routine. A lot of people. There's many people in this world that wish they had a fucking routine. Yeah. People complain about having a routine these days. Pisses Routines me off. are important. It's fucking They're important. It's it's, it's 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 very important, very underrated. Uh I guess I mean it's not really don't dwell on the fucking routine either, you know, like you still mm-hmm. got to get out of the routine a little bit so that you can come back and appreciate that routine a little Some bit spontaneity. more. Spontaneity. Yeah. You know, spontaneity. spontaneity is the spice of life. Oh, I like that title, too, man. That's how you got to, you know, <laughs> that's how you got to do it. Yeah. Having a routine. I'm the worst at like having a set routine. I'm always down for mm. sometimes you got to be flexible and things happen last minute. You yeah. know, you got to be down for it and yeah. ready and willing. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, routines also very important. Yeah. No, I guess I guess what I'm what I get out as far as routine, what I'm getting at is like, like, for example, people go to work like oh, it's Monday. I don't want to go to work, you know, but it's like. Hey, bro, like, you get to start your routine over again. Mm-hmm. Like, that shit's dope. Then you get to Friday, it's like, fuck yeah. It's Friday, bitch. Like, let's fucking, let's go do something fun. Or Sunday ball. Or Sunday ball. Sunday ball. But Some see, of these people out there listening, they got their Sunday routine. Exactly. Wake up at a time. They know they got to get these many lifts in. That, that's, yeah. You yep. know who I'm preaching to the choir over Preach here. Preaching to the choir, You know, bro. you got to get this, <laughs> these lifts in. You got to get your morning doo-doo in. Yep. Three, yeah. Oh, three doo-doos for me today. Three doo doo Three doo-doos. It threw me off, bro. It, it threw me off big time. You all right? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Okay. Yeah. It was just like, oh, I had some rolled oats. It was oh. probably just like the gas from the fiber. The fiber. Yeah, fucking fiber. Yeah, I, I need. I could use a lot more fiber in my life, man. But regardless, at least yeah. one doo doo. Oh yeah, guaranteed. You know, maybe yeah. two. Yeah, three if you're Boski. Yeah, today two was two banana. Two banana. Monkey never crop. <laughs> How many uh, bananas did you eat, Kyle? <laughs> three bananas. Because <laughs> <laughs> monkey never crop. But yeah, Sunday routine, man. You yeah, know man. that's how it is. Mm-hmm. And um, some of these guys, they gotta they gotta make sure they tell their prospective uh, love interests. Nice. You know, you go on a date. Beautiful choice of words. You gotta go on a date. Yeah. You know, hey, you know what do you like to do for fun? I'm a Sunday leaguer. A professional Sunday leaguer. Best believe I'm up at five a.m. 
getting my lifts, <laughs> taking my three doo doos. Hell yeah. And I got a game at nine. Yep. You're coming, seven thirty. Let's go. Ready to leave. <laughs> no complaining. It's gonna be hot. We'll get you. But you're gonna Starbucks. deal with it. Get if you Starbucks. can deal with it, yeah. we're getting married. Oh, that sounds like us. <laughs> <laughs> not, not that you together. And, not that you and I are married, <laughs> but we're married to the game. If we were married, Boski, we'd be on like the same Sunday league routine. We'd be so romantic. Uh, nah, bro. We'd be very opposites with our. Be like, her, dude. Let's go. It's seven thirty. Let's go. Damn it. <laughs> Wake up. Okay. <laughs> Motherfucker, still be asleep at seven thirty for a nine o'clock game. It's like, dude, like we gotta go, man. It's, it's fuck. Fuck that, Boski. No, we'd be vibing. We would. I. I. I for you, Boski. Uh-huh. I would. You know. I would. Uh, I would sacrifice. <laughs> it, I, it's a sacrifice for you. Dude? I would Jesus. sacrifice my sleep. Oh, okay. I'll sacrifice I, my sleep. I, okay. I accept that uh cuz I care that much about you. Yes, but I want you to care about the 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 game that's about to happen. Not about me. It's not about me. Oh, believe me. I, care, I, I want I you to care, care about, about the game. game. Of course. You know, that's more Knowing important. you, that's the most important thing. Yeah, that's why we And that's why I would, you know, sacrifice my sleep to make sure I'm awake early enough <laughs> to get you to the field on time cuz I don't want to hear your bitching the rest of the day. Yeah. That you went over for and it was my fault. Because I will not quit my bitching <laughs> for grown men, bitch. I don't, don't want to. I don't want to hear how it was my fault because we left the house yeah. at you know five minutes later, and because of yeah, that, man. it threw you off your routine. Exactly. And you went over for so you know, and I had to have to deal with that the whole mm-hmm. fucking week. I'm not yeah. down for that. Yeah, so do you, do you like? Do you really want to put up with this shit all no, week, bro? That's probably why your wife doesn't doesn't you know hold you back either. Uh, when she goes to the games, <laughs> yeah, you know she's she knows yeah. she knows the drill. I mean, we're taking separate cars now. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Well, but it, see, it's, it's the kids' fault. That's the comfort yeah. level too. It's the kids' that's fault. The yeah, yeah. Level. It's and not the kids. the kids' fault. I want to say it's their fault, but it's because of the girls. Like, yeah, they got it. She's got to get them going, and I'm over here like already out the door. But I guarantee yeah. you, before kids though, I'm sure she was like up butt crack of dawn. Oh yeah, just be like up. you, ready be like, to go. Oh, let me get my workout in real quick. Like, all right, we're showing up to the game. She's already chilling, mm-hmm. you know, in her seat <laughs> with her shade. Yeah, reading her book. <laughs> It's fucking. It's it's eight thirty in the morning. It's ninety degrees out there in the summer. She's like, "What the fuck? Why the fuck am I out here?" But she looks all bright eyed and bushy tailed, ready to go and <laughs> sit <tail>. there for <laughs> sit there for three and a half hours to watch her man throw her bat against the fence. Yeah, because he just popped out again. Oh, dude, what a day! I popped up today. Oh, okay. All right, yeah. we'll talk about it today. Okay. We'll talk yeah, about yeah. it. Anyway, Boski, yeah. So, um, just a couple notes from last episode. Before we before we go over your notes from last episode. Uh-huh. Uh, I'm drinking. <laughs> I've never been to France, but I'm drinking a French connection. <laughs> some black, some black, uh, Hennessy black cognac. Oh, very nice. Top, topped it off with some Grand Marnier, you know, like it's strong and sweet. I'm sorry I keep doing that to you where you no, don't get to share your drink. It, I'm so used to it, man. You got, you motherfuckers did that shit to me all the time. I'd be like, do, do, do. Can I, can I is anybody going to ask me about my drink yet? Do, do, do. <laughs> it's all good though, man. All right. Th- thank you for, thank There's, you for willingly sharing. <laughs> forcefully sharing <laughs> <laughs> all right man what do you got uh last last week's uh, uh notes okay let me see what, what do you got? got uh yeah i kind of took a peek and then you erased them i'm like hey where'd, where'd that stuff go yeah where did it go oh it ain't there dude. okay so um first note that i got here is that the um hawaiian beaches are way better than California beaches. Uh-huh. Way better. Oh, like they're not okay, even I know close. <laughs> they're not even close. Uh, like I get it, California beaches. Yeah, like you know, I can drive like an hour and a half. Is and it is it kind of like the platoon versus like the Yaki's? It's kind of like you know triple A. Yeah, <laughs> you know how the, there's different categories of burgers, like fast food burgers. Like Farmer uh-huh. Boys is not in the same, or In and Out is not in the same category as like whatever. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Same gotcha. thing. These Hawaiian beaches are they're built different. They are they are built different, mm-hmm. cut from a different cloth. Whatever you want to say about yeah, it. Yeah. Nothing beats Hawaiian beaches, especially in Maui. Nothing, <laughs> nothing yet. I would imagine nothing that I have seen yet. I would imagine they're a lot better, <laughs> a whole lot. That's better. why people go there, right? I mean, naturally. Yes. Uh, what else you got? What else you got? Uh, the the gummy I gave you, you knew it had THC. No, I didn't. I'm sure you did. I must have been drunk. You? I don't think so. I don't think so because mm. I know that I had told you it had like you know a little bit of THC, but mm. more it had more CBD. Oh, than because THC. because the weekend before you gave me something that had THC, Same, but similar. it was yeah, and I and I I was like fuck it, I'll try it, and then it didn't do anything to me, and then the next one you gave me, what it was, it, I didn't know that it was stronger, mm. and you didn't know that I didn't know that it was stronger. Perhaps that's that's roughly. 
perhaps. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, I, what, I, wasn't, what, what, I wasn't trying to date rape you. I mean, I beg to differ, but <laughs> Boski will never know. I, have, I mean, I had to run to the EMT. He's like, "This guy's gay." I'm gonna give Boski a hell of a ride, Ugh. and he'll never know. <laughs> Gross. No, uh, <laughs> not like that. Anyway, yeah. So, uh, but well, did I say something or on the podcast? Uh, you were what like, did I? Say? I don't remember said, what I said. You had said that I handed you uh, uh, a gummy that that uh, supposedly had nothing in it. Like it mm-hmm. was just all it was all CBD. I'm gonna have to go back and listen. Okay. But uh, no, it had some THC. You okay. were aware. You were aware. Okay. You knew what you were getting into, Bozy. You were down for a good time. Uh, I mean, I was at the time, and then it wasn't a good it, time. It turned into a trip. It was a fucking death. I thought I was about to die, dude. I was on the. I was like ninety percent dead. It's like, <laughs> call my wife, <laughs> wife. <laughs> well, why aren't you? Why aren't you worried about me? What do you mean? I remember that. What do you mean, babe? You're, what are you talking about? See, you're not one one ounce concerned. There's a lot of ounces in me, and you're not one ounce concerned. I remember that. Yeah, yeah. she was so fucking chill on the phone. She, she knew you were gonna be fine. It was, yeah. you know, that the anxiety or whatever. Yeah, she was almost you... like laughing, and I'm just like, "Are you in on this? What are you trying to do to me?" <laughs> It's like no, I don't have any kind of insurance. All right, <laughs> try to kill me. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not accusing my wife of, the, I know, of that stuff. But yeah, that was that was hilarious. <laughs> okay, what else? You got? Uh, um, the opposite of an athletic is a. Mm-hmm. I would I mm-hmm. would agree with you as a sedentarian. Sedentarian. Okay. A sedentarian. <laughs> the sedents. The sedents. Yeah, I, I like sedentarians. But anyway, that's yeah, the sedentarian is pretty good. Those are the only notes that I got. Um, okay, not bad. Shout out to Rube again for holding it down, man. Yeah, shout out to Rube. By the way, Lil, uh, Lil Rube, happy birthday, motherfucker. Oh, it is his birthday. His birthday, yeah. Yes. We, we were chilling at his pad last night. Uh, had a good time. Had a lot a lot to drink. Well, I didn't. I didn't. I really didn't drink too much because I didn't want to be all fucked up for uh, t- today's game, you know, for obvious reasons. want to be. But Rube I don't want to have any excuses, you know what I mean? Rube had a great time from yeah, right here. Yeah. Rube was like, your hands are heavier than Mike Tyson's when you pour drinks, so make my drink. He doesn't talk like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, uh, yeah, every time he – he had this fucking – like, I didn't know what the fuck to make him, you know. He had this, like, drink book right there in the, in the bar. So I was just flipping through it, and I'm just like, all right, we're going to do page page 14. And then we flipped to page 14. I'm like, okay, this will work. You know, and then I just I just kind of, like, poured, like, a little extra. <laughs> yep. You know, my, my hand's heavy, so – if you want to get drunk, I will make your drinks for you. Oh God, yeah, good time. So, uh, Larube, happy birthday, you old bastard! Yeah, yeah, he's approaching. He is approaching his years. No, how should I say this? He's beyond the years. How should I say this? <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to get to a short joke. Like uh-huh. he is approaching his inches in height. <laughs> in years of age, fifty three inches, thirty eight inches. He's getting there. He's, he's like, there. and he's gonna be like, yeah, laying down. <laughs> <laughs> now shout out, little Rube, happy birthday, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and it was my my kid's birthday a couple days ago. Happy birthday, Jack. He turned four. Mm-hmm. And then my my daughter turns eleven next week. Damn, she's old, man. When are you gonna charge her rent? Yet. I'm like five years away from doing that. Yeah. I'm really? Getting I'm getting there. Get that work permit. Make her fucking. She's gonna start working. Working shit, yeah, man. That's what's up. She's gonna live the life I live. Start working at 14. <laughs> work at the swap meet. Did you ever work at the swap meet? No, I worked at my dad's auto shop. Oh, uh, okay. And that's where that that was my first my first gig. Mm. You know, in high school summers, every every summer I'd go work at the shop. Yeah. Change oil. You, you gonna make her work at where you work? Uh, I don't know if I can. Mm-hmm. You know, there's uh, rules against that. Right. But she want you know, I, I would definitely be down to allow her to volunteer whenever they allow her to like at a she wants to do like, you know, veterinary veterinary work. So mm-hmm. maybe she could volunteer at a vet clinic somewhere, mm-hmm. you know, while she's in high school. We'll see. Right. We'll cross that line when we get there. Yeah. For now, she's got to throw somebody out trying to steal second. So we're <laughs> working on that first. That's that's all she's got to do right now. Yeah. <laughs> that's what's up. So anyway, yeah, birthdays all month long. Mm-hmm. Congratulations to all the April babies. Hell yeah. 420. It was 420 for you, DH, the other day. What'd you do for 420? (laughs) Fucking work. You know, I always like kind of like veering off all this shit. So I had to work. You worked on 420. I did not celebrate. Really? Did not celebrate. Of all things, that's the one you didn't celebrate. No, dude, I got got the day before off Mm because that was my kid's birthday. Yeah. So, yeah, no, I had to work. Yeah. But it's fine. Shout out Cody Bellinger. I celebrate any other day. Of of these Chicago Cubs, hit a 420 (laughs) foot bomb on 420. He's like, of course he did. Is it a coincidence? No. No. Do you think maybe the measurements like like a little bit tampered with? <laughs> I, probably. Yeah. But who gives a fuck? That's yeah, I like funny. it. I like it's it. It's funny. I'm, yeah, I like that shit. 
I'm for it. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, that was cool. So, all right. That was all the notes that I got. I mean, good episode. Good episode. Appreciate man. you. Yeah, Thank you. Of course. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Uh, he reached out. He's like, hey, I'll fill in. Beautiful. Like, all right, cool. I don't feel like looking for anybody anyways. It's a lot of work. <laughs> it's a lot of work to think of think up questions on the spot. And I'm sure you stay busy at work as well. Other oh, things dude, going on. Fuck, fucking, fuck work, dude. Lazy bastards, man. Bunch of, I work with a bunch of lazy bastards. Not all of them. You know, not everybody. All right. All right. Yeah. There's I mean, a few good ones. There's a few good ones. You know, I, I kind of mixed into that too, you know, but I, I try. I try. I give you got it. I you give it my best. I'd be audited motherfuckers. I'm like, something's wrong here. Well, yep. you know, somebody's got to hold it down because every, if everybody sucks, then that's just going to be like management's mm-hmm. going to be like, something's going on in this department. Yeah. You got to investigate. Oh, yeah. You're the one holding it down. Yeah, man. I got to I gotta keep an eye on people sometimes. Without you, nobody would. I don't, I don't keep an eye on nobody. Dude. They're like, here, do this, and I just do it. <laughs> I don't complain, man. I complain like I don't complain to people. I just kind of complain to myself. Like ah, fuck this. Eh, hurry up. People work too slow. Like shit like that. Your manager's dream. Uh, you're, I guess you're a manager's dream. Yeah, kind of. I mean, I I, I respect uh, authority figures and and, and from that perspective, I guess you know, in the work environment, like yeah. Like, well, you got the position. Like I kind of have to respect you yeah. until you give me a reason to not respect you anymore. Then mm-hmm. you know. And well, be advised also that. You know, I know sometimes, you know, if I step off uh, an episode, you got to get somebody to fill in. But mm-hmm. be advised, you know, this is not like a three o'clock in the afternoon type of deal. You know, we're doing this right. shit right now. It's about to be 11 p.m. Yeah, it's about to be 11 o'clock p.m. on a Sunday night. Like, ain't nobody trying to do that. Mm-hmm. Well, that's partly my fault, too, because, you know, I had to mm-hmm. work earlier. So right. getting now, that's the only time I'm available. Yeah. I don't know. But regardless, yeah, man. this is a regular uh, thing. Uh, our availa- Late at night. Our availability is 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 limited these days. You yeah. know, but we're still every week, man, holding it down. You know, I play, you work. You sure do play Boski. <laughs> I'm sure trying. I'm, I'm trying to play, man. For how much longer we will find out because <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna ask you about your game. Okay. <laughs> later on today. Yeah, you go ahead and ask. All right, man. Well, with that being said, shall we get into it? Yeah, lead the it's way, about sir. Time. Lead the fucking way. How about we talk about uh, San Diego? Let's lead off with San Diego. Oh, let's go. One of the fucking toughest divisions in all lead of baseball. Lead off with San Diego and work our way up. 18 AAA Sunday. 18 AAA Sunday. They're their top division. They have, yeah. they have Saturday divisions, too, by the way, but... Who talks this about is, Saturday? This baseball? is Sunday League, the podcast, <laughs> after all. <laughs> Saturday baseball, which, you know, that's that's actually not a bad idea, playing ball on Saturday. It's not a bad idea, but, you know, are you willing to drive all the way to San Diego, San Diego? I don't know, I don't know man. But, hey, let's run it down real quick. Sunday, AAA, they got six teams in that division. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sunday, 18, AA. They got three, four, five, six, seven, eight teams in that division. And then they also have uh, Sunday single A, 18 single A. Yeah. And they got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve teams in that division. One of which is the Gone Whale Watching Whales. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> the Gone Whale Watching Whales are in the Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> is that a whale sound? The whale. Oh no, that's the whalers. That's the whale. <laughs> Keep working on it, Boski. Yeah, I'm trying. It. I'm trying. There's also a Sunday 25A, Sunday 25AA, 35A, and a 35AA. But for all power rankings intent and purposes, we're going to discuss the Sunday 18 AAA. And there was there were games scheduled, but we don't have all of the results. We got Chata versus Threshers. Apparently, this was a, a doubleheader. Doubleheader, yeah. And uh, this was interesting how these scores <laughs> broke down. Yeah. So, apparently, uh, they split the doubleheader. Uh, Threshers won the first game 13-1. to one. Mm-hmm. Or was it they won 13 to nothing? They won 13-1, and then they lost. Then they lost 13 to nothing. 13 <laughs> nothing, yeah. So, they split with Chata. Chata. <laughs> I, it's too it's too easy. It was too easy. Too easy. <laughs> so um, apparently, though, Chata had somebody that came and shot the door on the Threshers. Oh, shit. Yeah. I guess he was topping out. He was clocked at like 92. Very nice. Some insider info. All right. <laughs> and uh, yeah, knocked the Threshers off. But uh, regardless, coming away with a split's not bad. Mm. No, not at all. Better than losing both. Yeah. 
I mean, but imagine just like you're raking one game and then next thing you're just getting your you ass just can't just touch nothing. To you. Yeah. I would rather I would rather just like, you know, would take you... it up the butt the first game mm-hmm. and then well, You're gonna take something up your butt, dude? <laughs> well, I'd rather go like 0 for three or 0 for four with four Ks the first game and then <sighs> four for four with like yeah. four extra base hits Fuck the second striking game. Striking out. Right? That's a lot better than, you know, starting off four for four the first game. Yeah. And then going over four. Because then you leave feeling pretty shit. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah. You know, and then and, you can but leave and, on and, high at note. least you worked for your like your five hundred average, you know, at the end to like end it. Right. You go over yeah. four and then four, four for four, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So made you know, shows you made the adjustments. True that. Yeah, yeah true that. Or yeah. it could show you got too comfortable. Either way. Like if yeah. you if you started off hot. Yeah, and then finished off. You got all cocky and shit. Like, oh, these yeah. guys, these guys Fucking stink. Guy. And then, nope, strike four, strike five, strike six. That's it. <laughs> all right, so there's that. Sluggos versus Venados, two Sunday League power ranked teams yeah. going at it. So, so originally, I think we got it as a forfeit, but I, um, it looks like it was probably just a buy. Oh, it was a bye week, but but if if uh, one of the teams was in a, unable to play, then it's a it's a forfeit. Technically, it's a forfeit, right? They yeah. don't have enough guys. Yeah, but the league was kind enough to give them a bye. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, congratulations, Benados. Yeah. I, I mean, I, honestly, I think I think it's a forfeit. Uh, the way I'm looking at it, it's got to be a forfeit. Mm. Yeah. All right. So they didn't get to play, and then the, as far as the Pirates versus SD Halos, got uh, got nothing, got nothing on them either. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm working on getting that score, so we'll we'll we'll, we'll continue to uh, try. Pirates uh, from the San Diego Adult Baseball League are a ranked team, so to be determined what happens with them. Yeah, Scabble. Let's move on to Scabble. Unless there's anything Scabble. else for San Diego that we got to talk about. Um, no, nah, they're pretty straightforward, man. All right. If 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 I get a if I get an update, I'll uh, I'll interrupt. All right, let me know. Scabble. Let's get these out of the way here. The L.A. Angels with another shutout victory against the SoCal Bulldogs. Little Rubes, L.A. Angels. Yes. The H's. I've been talking about this team for a while L.A. Angels. You know, and last episode. Dad Bax's L.A. Angels. Hey, there you go. There you go. You know, there's been a lot of discussion about this league, and I think pretty soon it's going to be time to have somebody from Scabble get on the episode and defend the league. Oh, you know, oh, okay. I, I, think, I think it's going to be time to to hear, you know, somebody from Scabble's mm-hmm. perspective okay. on this. Yeah. But the LA Angels, yeah, yeah are if you motherfuckers are listening, shit. <laughs> the LA Angels are on some kind of run mm-hmm. with their victory today. I believe they moved to five and zero, yeah, and a run differential of fifty runs scored, two allowed. Two? I don't give a fuck what league you're yeah, playing in. That's if you're in the top division, that's absolutely fair. Yep, you're in the top percent. division. You've played that many games. They only yeah. given up two runs. You're averaging ten runs a game. Yeah, like you're you're approaching you know mm-hmm. platoon level production. There you go again, saying platypus platoon platoon platoon. You know, as a matter of fact, I actually uh. I heard somebody say that on another podcast recently this week. Uh, the guy said he was said he was referring to the uh, in the MLB like two guys platooning, uh-huh. and he, but he used the word he said it platoon platooning. Yeah, mm. he said platoon. Yeah, he said platooning. Mm. Yeah, so, uh, it was it was Jay Hay. If you guys know who Jay Hay is, yeah, pla baseball pla. is dead. It's pla, not pla. It's pla 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 pla. 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 Gross. No. Platoon. Platoon. <laughs> however you say it. Tomato tomato. Yeah, is that tomato, put, tomato. I'm gonna put that I'm gonna put that as a as a as a fucking poll poll question. Is it platoon or platoon? P L A H or P L U H? Yes. Yes. Ah. Mm-hmm. We should ask the platoon themselves. Well they're gonna they're gonna say platoon, but we need to know what the Sunday League community Okay. These fucking Bush League Sunday. I saw buttoned up. Sunday League community. No, these fucking Bush Leaguers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, clean it up for them, Boski. Clean, clean it, it up. up. For them. I like to muck it up, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah I'm a mucker upper. All right. So back to uh, the lecture at hand. LA <laughs> Angels, 3 0 over the Cal, uh, SoCal Bulldogs. SoCal Sharks with a victory. DH is SoCal the SoCal Sharks. SoCal Sharks, 8 to 1. Who did they play? I don't know. Who gives a shit? They yeah. won. Sharks yeah, who eight. the fuck did they play? I, we can figure it out. 
The day one. <laughs> Roscoe's staying undefeated with a victory over the A's, 3-1. to one. Mm-hmm. And then they also had another game scheduled later in the day against the Young Guns, but there is currently no score for that. Yeah, I think they they fucked that up. Maybe the SoCal Sharks played the Young Guns? Uh, maybe. Let me do some investigating. Maybe. It's not just to, to, to pull out the Mexican girl and me investigate. Oh, snap. <laughs> Damn, that's... <laughs> That's that's some uh, that's some pretty deep investigations. That's some deep <laughs> investigations. That's fucking. Who, funny. You, who are you calling? Who are you gonna call? Uh, I'm I'm just gonna see gonna if call, I can figure it out. You're gonna call their auntie. You're gonna call their ex girl. Somebody don't call somebody. You're gonna dog. call their you're gonna call their brothers, sisters, <laughs> boyfriends, cousin. Yep. It's gonna navigate the grand that you know went to driving school with them. <laughs> that's funny. Like the I need I need to borrow your car. <laughs> For what? I need to go find out where my boyfriend is. <laughs> he dropped a pin at the movie theater. Oh, fuck. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know who the fuck they played, dude. That's all good. Yeah, not, not, nothing would suggest who they played. Moving on to the WC Desert Dogs. I think that's West Coast Desert Dogs. I think it's West Covina Desert Dogs. West Covina <laughs> Desert Dogs. That's my guess. That's, that's just my guess. That's probably more accurate. Yeah. Uh, 15 to 2 over the Hops. Hops. Uh, <sighs> Hop, hoppy. The Vallarta Baseball Club take out the Diamond Dogs 12 to 2. And then the Pasadena Pilots take out the Whittier Brewers 11 to 7. Mm. So, as it stands right now, the LA A's and the Diamond Dogs remain winless. Of course. In uh, Scabble. Shocker top division <laughs> and you got the roscoe's and the la angels remaining undefeated up top dh's and little rubes la angels vallarta baseball club is right there in the thick of it at five, five and one, one. so socal sharks in fourth three, three one, one and one with a tie of course uh the bulldogs three and two the hops three and three the pilots two three and one and everybody else is yeah, <laughs> a losing. You can look, <laughs> you can look it up. You can look it up. All right. Um. Yeah, man. So last episode there was some there was some talk about Scabble, mm-hmm. and uh, specifically uh, the Crooks. The Crooks, right, had, right, right, you know, right. Yeah, had some had some stuff. The to sound say off, about, yeah, about Scabble. Yeah, you know, and they've got a leg up on us because I've never played in Scabble, mm-hmm. but something could be said about you want to. <laughs> I, I want to. Won't, I did see that to. they play. They play some of their games locally too, around where we live. Mm-hmm. Specifically, where I live, it's a little closer to um, me than it is to you. Yeah, so that would be Wayne Macon, in Norco, in Norco. That's closer to you. I think the one closer to me would be Rancho Cucamonga Heritage Park, yeah. and also Red Hill Park. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know they were that local. Yeah. So, I, dude, I proposed to my wife at Red Hill Park, right oh. next to the pond where there's, there's ducks and shit. Yeah, I remember the ducks. That's, they used to have turtles too. Yeah. Yeah, and we took our fucking engagement pictures there. Just se- sexy, romantic shit, you know? Damn. Yeah, take take your girl to Red Hill Park. I don't know if the lake is filled back up yet, though. Last, uh, time, last time we were there, it was they drained out the lake. and COVID. Poor ducks. Yeah, the water's full of COVID. <laughs> <laughs> fucking COVID. Anyway, yeah, that's dope. <laughs> that's good shit, man. Oh, man. That's good the, shit. The water was full of COVID. <laughs> I don't know, dude. <laughs> fucking, uh... Shout out to the Mariachis in the players division. They're three and two. Hey, yeah, they're three and two. Uh, doing their thing down there. They're, uh, they got to they got to catch up to the Laverne Dragons who are six and zero. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then uh, also shout out to the Bandolitos, two and three in the American division. Same shit, man. They're catching up to the 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 Basura Boys at five and zero oh, and, Basura and boys. Flow State. DH is Flow, Flow State. State. Yes, sir. I love it. Yeah, man. All right, cool. Yeah, trying to trying to trying to show some love to uh to some of the other teams out there, man. I know there's a, a lot of you guys listening to us and just probably thinking like, well, what about us? Mm. We're trying. We're mm. trying. It's a lot of work. Even some of these teams down on the bottom too. Like I'm pulling for these guys. I like the underdogs. I want the underdogs to come away. The, with the Longhorns. Win. The Longhorns <laughs> are a long shot to Got get a, a win. Longhorn for them. But yeah, <laughs> they're 0 4 in the American Division with uh, six runs allowed. Uh, six runs scored. Mm-hmm. Sixty six runs allowed. I That's need. A- I need to see. The Cardinals of this division of the players' division. They are the 
zero and five at the bottom division. Mm. Uh, I mean, they're scoring a little bit of runs. They're not getting absolutely blown out. No, yeah. The Cali Cobras have given up ninety runs <laughs> in four Fuck. games. In four games, yeah. That's more than twenty a game. <laughs> I can't be right. Oh, fuck a huge math pod. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, let me see here. They did play the SoCal Monarchs today. Oh, shit. And they lost 17 to <laughs> 1. Fuck. <laughs> against the SoCal Monarchs. Let me hold on. Let me pull up their whole schedule here just to make sure <laughs> that these numbers are as accurate as yeah. they. Yeah. <laughs> they Shout out to the Mariners, to too. They're sitting at 3 and 2 in third place in the, the division. S- yeah. SoCal Rays absolutely did. Demolished <laughs> was the, the Cali Cobras like they sent them to the upside down, <laughs> what was this and they're stuck in the wall. Somewhere. Oh shit! Twenty-seven <laughs> to fifteen. What the fuck? Damn! How did they ever score fifteen? <laughs> <laughs> the pitcher started throwing with the opposite hand. Bro. I don't know. <laughs> He's like, my my right arm hurts. I'm just, just going to use my go left. left. I'm here. the only pitcher, so I'm going to use my oh, left hand. Oh, my God. Okay, so that was last week. And then the week before, <laughs> the Mariachis at the Cali Cobras. Mariachis win 23-1. to one. Jesus Christ. You talk about a tryout team. Right? That, you know, he he brings up a good point, Nick, from, uh, yeah. from the Crooks. Tryout yeah. teams. But, yeah, but I think he was talking about the top division. All right. Yeah. Well, to be fair, and then yeah. to be fair, I know he was talking about the top division. <laughs> Damn. Oh, All right, fuck. and then that's uh, crazy, dude. That's fuck. <laughs> Bandits at Cali Cobras don't have a score for that one from previous. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm pulling for you, Cali Cobras. Shout out to the Cali Cobras. Fifteen runs should normally be good enough to win a game. Dude, I've. I'd be willing to put them up against like the Fantasmas from the minor division of the Pasillas League. Those guys don't even exist. First, <laughs> the first game they lost to the Laver- they lost. They're the only team that's lost double digit games. The they- Fantasmas. Oh my god. <laughs> oh man! Shout out to Z Fighters, by the way. They oh put, shit! Z Fighters. They beat they beat the Fantasmas by a lot today. <laughs> to go into the playoffs to defend their crown. By the way. Oh, okay. The Z Fighters. Yeah, so they're starting their playoff run. That the Pasias League uh season finished. Very nice. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. All right. Well, um yeah, let's 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 my, move on from, my, my bad for throwing you off. Oh, let's move on from Scabble before I get PTSD from looking at all these scores. Jesus, let's go to our home league. Yes. Please. Boski, do the honors. My Fontana baseball. I don't own it. It's, I don't run it. Um all right, where are we at? <laughs> Sorry, FBL. I, FBL, Los Blue Jays go up against the Indians and win 5-3. to three. Shout out to Los Blue Jays. You know, the Indians were a hot topic on the last episode also, mm-hmm. and I think the episode before, because they made it a point, and, you know, they they don't forget. They don't oh, forget. Oh, yeah. They don't yeah. forget when they get okay. mentioned. Uh-huh. I got some. I got some about that. As a matter of fact, they. I kept saying, who said it? Oh, yeah. I'm trying no. to figure it out. We figured it out. They figured it out. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. They, they went back. They probably wrote it. They, no, they 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 put, took their shovel out and they dug a little bit. You know, mm-hmm. you know, like every Mexican should know how to dig a hole, right? Exactly. How to dig, get to the bottom of it. Yep. Well, especially Indians. Now, these motherfuckers were like, "Listen to this episode at this minute." So I was like, "Okay, fair." So I went back and I listened. It was me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> It was me. It was you. So it was, as a matter of fact, it was one. It was that episode where Fitz was like, "I'm gonna give you every team from the the, the top division in the NBA. Oh yeah, okay. and you're gonna say if they're. I don't overrated. think I was on there. Huh? No, you weren't here. Okay. No, uh, and he was like, "You're gonna say if they're overrated or underrated." And I'm like, I I think I might have said like, I don't like this game, because <laughs> I already knew like he's gonna come back and bite you. He's gonna ass. come yeah. back and bite you. Yeah. yeah, and it did. Yeah, sure it enough, ju- it sure did. So yeah. well. I mean, for the time being, at least, uh, the Indians um, still holding on to a playoff spot and, um, you know, turning around the idea of mm-hmm. them being overrated. As of right now, they Definitely. are a playoff team. Indeed. Uh, moving on to the next game, our Rialto Gators win 9 to nothing against the IE Marlins because the IE Marlins didn't show up. Another one, another one, another forfeit. I think that's about it for these guys. No, it's not. Like I, that's gotta be, dude. They, 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 they. You gotta get them out of there. You gotta at least, at least the fucking Gators show up to their games. 
You know? Let me look. Let me look. Hold up. Hold on. Hold on. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Well, they're supposed to have a, a two games against the Brew Crew coming up, and they're going to get both wins because of the forfeits. So the IE Marlins, according to the website here, the last three games, mm -hmm. the entire month of April, have all been a nine to nothing loss. Yes, yeah, it's forfeit. Coincidence? I think not. They are out. Get them out of here. They did beat the California Reds. Somehow. Somehow. Yeah. By one. But yeah, you know, um, if it's been three in a row, I feel like if they were an employee at a at a job. Exactly. Three no shows, like, like you gone, homie. You're not, you're not fired. You're arrested at that point, or <laughs> arrested, <laughs> or at least there's like a there's a search party going on for you. Arrested, <laughs> you're gonna call like the cops. You're, you're missing, yeah. At some point, you're missing. Oh, Somebody shit. should check on them to make sure that they're okay. At least, yeah. You got to do your due diligence. Yeah, yeah. yeah, check on them, make sure that they're okay. And yeah. if they are, then boot them out. Yeah. Anyway, regardless, uh, congratulations on the victory. Indeed. So Cal Royals and California Reds. Oh, the Royals victorious. Oh, five to three. Yeah. Um, long time Fontana League rivals. <laughs> OG rivals. OG rivals. Uh, Royals come out on top. No surprise there because the Royals, um, you know, ranked. what are they? What are they? Yeah, they're normally ranked, but they're also second. Yeah. Second in the division. Mm hmm. And uh, with the the best run differentials in ever histories. Really? No, I'm just kidding. That was oh. that was just a point that they made once. <laughs> oh, okay. They're like, yeah, we have the best run differential, and yet we're ranked, you know, 12th. Uh, mm. I don't know. They made a comment about it. But I don't know. I don't know if my math is off, but 98 to 40 versus 76 to 31, that's pretty well, close. Well, now yeah. it's pretty close. Now they don't have the best run differential, mm. but they mm -hmm. did at one point. And regardless, the Royals will they get their respect in this episode. Oh, of course, yeah. They get their respect. They, just, they they win baseball games, but they don't win all of them. Just tune into the power rankings. Yeah. You'll see what we mean. Next game, Pride Brew Crew. DH, what do you what do you think the score was here? I know you know the score. <laughs> uh Brew Can, Crew twenty nothing. Brew crew twenty to nothing. Let's oh, flip that kidding. around a little bit. <laughs> Pride fifteen. Brew crew. Ouch. One. Ouch. That's okay though. Brew With crew. respect. Shocker. Yeah. <laughs> With respect. The Brew Crew got a couple wins though, at least. You know, yeah. they've had they've got a couple wins under their belt. And mm -hmm. so yeah, you go up against a juggernaut like the Pride. Mm. Yeah. Pride still undefeated at ten and oh damn. Wild. Pride are doing the Wild. damn thing. So now now they're at that point where like, hey man, an undefeated season is not out of their reach. Yeah. I don't know if that's ever happened in FBL. No, I, I mean, it, I would like to see them kind of go all the way through. Just um, because for, for history's sake, I guess, for Sun Hilly history. Yeah, I'm going through and I'm looking at like tournament history, division championship history in Fontana League. Mm. And the closest anybody's come to a, a undefeated season, well, there was one in winter 2013-2014 by mm. the White Sox who went 10-0. and 0. Mm -hmm. but, but they win, did they win the championship? The champs tournament champion that year was the Cal Stars. So, so they didn't even win it. They didn't I remember win the it. Cal Stars. Dude, those those guys were scrappy as those fuck. Guys, dude. Those, yeah. They were good. They were from uh, Altaloma or some shit. Yeah, they won three championships in a row. That was their third one. Mm. But yeah, the SoCal Dodgers the season after went 5-0-2. So the Pride have a chance to essentially have the best record Ever, ever in mm -hmm. Fontana baseball league history, right. I mean, eleven and zero is a little bit better than ten and zero. What about what about the very first season of of FBL? Why don't you take a look at that one? Yeah, I'm looking at that right now. Yeah, you know where I'm going see. with that, right? At least the first one on record. What's the first one on record? The first one on record goes down to summer 2008, and yes, the IE Reds, mm -hmm. fifteen and three. Ask me who was on that team. Why do I gotta ask you? I already know. I was on that. <laughs> you, team. you were on that team. I dude. was on that. You team. were on, you that, were team. on that, team. that team. I was on that team. And we it's lost no to the deal. Dodgers. We and, lost. We, and we lost, which now is the California Reds. Hey, yeah, comes full circle. It comes full circle exactly. All right. Yeah. So man. we got the uh, who? Do, who was that? Yeah, Pride fifteen to one. You know, keep it going. Let's get yeah. some more dubs. Let's see yeah. it. I'm, gotta keep it rolling, man. We already. They're, they're fucking solid dudes. Like they, they they throw strikes, they hit the ball, and they catch the fucking ball. More importantly, they catch the ball. They don't. They don't fuck up. They don't throw it around. They don't throw it around. They they make the play that's got to be made. They execute the pitch that's got to be made, and they have key key clutch hitting. And I'm sorry if we jinxed it by by calling no hitter. When was that? Right now. You said that they were undefeated, and we're 
hoping that they remain. So oh no, and, no, everybody's watching that. Like that's probably the only team that's like double digits undefeated. All right. Yeah, it's not. It's out there. It's not a secret. Like nobody's hiding it. Everybody wants to see it, but also doesn't want to see it. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing with a no hitter. Yeah, that's true. You know, you Fair don't want to say it. Everybody mm-hmm. can see it. You just don't want to say it. Yeah. And we said it. It's funny, Sorry. How, it's funny how Sunday League Baseball is very similar to like NFL. Right. Stupid league. <laughs> Stupid sport. Not the league, but the sport. Uh, all right. Uh, Hammered Heads went up against the Sun Devils. Hammered Heads win 7-4. to four. Very nice. Sun Devils, yeah. Sun Devils are on the outside looking in at the playoffs at this point. Yeah, and a historically very good team, too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Historically. They've kept up. But shit yeah. happens, man. Shit happens, man. Mets, Tropics, DH. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Game of the week just because you played in it. <laughs> I guess. I kind of played in it. No, this, you know, historically has been a good matchup. Mets versus Tropics. Always. Today was yeah. a good matchup. Today was a good matchup. Uh, Mets won 4-3. Uh, I mean, I pulled my quad. Damn. Like, I, I don't know if I pulled it or if it cramped up on me, but like, I still feel it right now, just sitting here. Mm-hmm. I, You're probably gonna feel it tomorrow too. Yeah, it'd probably be worse tomorrow. Uh, yes. My heels on fire. Uh, there was a double play, hit to our shortstop Ray, and a perfect feed. And I don't know. Like I was telling you earlier. Like, I don't know if my fucking quad like just grabbed on the spot, or if it was before I received the ball or after I threw it. But I caught the ball to turn it. And if I was a shot putter, I would win. It was a nice shot put. Yeah, dude, I fucking launched this motherfucker. I didn't really launch it. I could, like, threw it off my fingertips. I just threw it into the fucking Mets dugout, dude. But Damn. I was just like, oh, God damn it. I'm not going to hear it. I'm like, hear the end of it for the rest of the week. Uh, but unfortunately, I mean, you know, we left, like, 20 guys on base. Uh, we made key errors. And somehow the score ended up just at 4-3. to three. Wow. Yeah. Well, you guys kept them scoring. All yeah, man. Uh, Shay was doing his thing, shaming the the butcher. Yes, the butcher, the butcher. That, that yeah. Well, we, gotta, we gotta play that for cup check. You don't play that for cup check. We gotta play that for okay. cup check. Okay. Perfect. Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll show you the video. Uh, yeah, fuck. Great game. Great game. There was no chirping back and forth. It was hot. We were just like, ugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Had a good at bat. I only had two at bats. Oh, for one with a walk. That's it. But did you strike out? Nope. Have you struck out yet so far this nope. season? Nope. Nope. All right. Did you bring your umpire fees? Yep. Boy, first, Kosky. I was the first one there. First one to hand over my five bucks. Five bucks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, man. Shout out to Ethan, by the way. Yeah. Uh, he got out of a huge jam late in the game. It was like bottom of the eighth or some shit. And uh, I want to say I want to say it was bases loaded. I don't really remember. But uh, the guy that that ended up hitting in my spot, he he hit a pop up. It wasn't a pop up, but uh. It was like a foul ball. Mm-hmm. It was a it was like a pop up foul, and it was a uh, towards the first base side, right in front of the dugout. And uh, Ethan makes the pitch. He fucking pounces off the mound. He was just like a big ass puma. Just thaw, 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 thaw. he goes over. And he like belly flops like face first, and he catches his ball, dude. I swear his fucking shoulders popped. That both of them popped out of their sockets at the same time. He laid there for like a good five ten seconds, and we were all like, "Oh shit, is he dead?" And we were all like. Y'all want to see a dead body? <laughs> He's just laying there, and then he fucking rolls over on his back, and the, you know the, the team was like, "Yeah!" It was to end the inning, dude. Like to end the threat. Like it was, it was wow. pretty dope. It was pretty so dope. You finished dude. it on that. Yeah, it was to end the inning, and then uh, came out for the next one, and then finished it off. That a boy. Yeah, dude. Shout out, shout out to Big E, dude. Fucking Hell gamer. Yeah. Fucking gamer. But also, so uh, Brian Delgado, he was he was throwing pretty fucking solid. The uh, umpire was squeezing a little bit on both sides, but uh, what, what game was this played at? Or what field? Uh, Summit High School. Summit High School. Somebody's got to put like a chalk outline of each. Oh, <laughs> right outside shit. The dugout, you know, nah. laying there. Somebody do it. Somebody do it. Somebody, Somebody do it. it. Somebody do it. <laughs> Crime scene. I didn't get to face him, dude. Like I would, I would have got to face him in in that that that, that specific at bat. Mm-hmm. It, that it would have been my me batting. Who'd you face? Uh, I only faced Delgado. Delgado. Yeah, Brian Delgado. Nasty, nasty shit. Dude. He's Del got nasty. it. He's still got it, yeah. Uh, I think he's coming off an injury, though. All right. com- yeah, but uh, he's got a funky arm slot, dude. I'm just like, I don't want to face this shit. He threw a fastball that was down for a strike. Uh, when he threw it, I spit on it because I'm like, nah, it's in the dirt. That shit kept its plane, dude. I was just like, oh, okay. Mm. It's like, all right, like right, I'm ready to hit now. <laughs> oh, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hadn't faced him before, so yeah. Okay. I- looking forward to the next time. 
Yeah. Very nice. So yeah. overall, what do you think of the uh, you know the last couple games that you played in Fontana League? What do you think of the competition, the pitching it, overall? Either I'm getting older or the pitching is getting be- a lot better. It's yeah. gotten a lot better for sure. A little yeah. more challenging at this stage in yeah. your career. Bauer from the Pride, he, uh, he's he got a sneaky fastball, dude. And I, I don't know if it's just I couldn't pick it up or just his he hides it really well. And, but his arm strength is definitely there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it, more talk about spin rate, like, in the more recent years. You see it now. You're just like, okay. Like, that's what spin rate is. That's, that's what, what it does. That's what it pitches. looks like. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm thinking like I'm thinking Delgado too. Same thing with that low fastball, like spin rate. Because of the spin rate, it just mm-hmm. stayed flat. It just kept it stayed its plane. level. Yeah. yeah, just kept its plane. I'm just mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? That's like that. You shit like that usually just dives on me. That one didn't. Wow. All yeah, right, dude. man. Well, hey, there you yeah, go, bro. And you, and the, these breaking balls, dude. Like, like it's kind of like how Crash Davis uh, explains this. Like, you go to the majors. These guys have exploding sliders, explosive sliders, and this and that. They'll jump all over your fastball godly fastballs and this and that and blah, blah. but i mean i'm not comparing to <laughs> the major league <laughs> major league baseball to sunday league but yeah, yeah it's a little different but yeah i'm i'm definitely starting to feel my age dude it's crazy it's fucking crazy there you go but man. the pitching's great dude I, uh, yeah makes you want to just uh yeah get back to to that level that you know with Bosky was a threat to go deep Almost any <laughs> at yeah. bat makes me want to play in AAA against a team like the Marlins, <laughs> the Fontana. Marlins. Oh, okay, yeah. So you want to you want to go down in the, against the Marlins and, and face their stud? I do, I do. I want to see it. I want to see it. Okay. Yeah, this isn't like a like I'm calling you out, bulls. None of that. It's, I just want to face it. You know? Gotcha. Just to see what it looks like. Well, the Fontana Marlins. Shout out to them. They did yeah. get a victory in AAA, uh, eight to three. Beat the crap out of the Yockeys. Over the Yockeys. The bad Yockeys. They used to be referred to as the bad Yockeys. The formerly known as the Majors Yockeys in FBL. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The not not your Yockeys. Not those ones. Not those guys. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, shout out to Fontana Mars yeah. with their victory. Check, you want to talk about run differential, you know. Oh, you God. This run differential is stupid. I mean, you know. 97 they're... to 29. How did anybody ever get 29? Oh, right. Errors. Probably. It was probably errors. Probably. Yeah. But they are on a seven-game win streak, i.e. Phillies and AAA, on the other hand, are on a six-game losing streak. Uh, they're out of the league, as a matter of fact. Oh. Yeah, you, if, you, if you look at the schedule, they're they're actually not on there. I would be, too. Yeah. Uh, Say, as a matter of fact, same with the SoCal Drillers, man. Like, uh, John Lane actually ser- shared something with us earlier uh, in the group. Mm. And uh, SoCal, it seems like sh- the, the, the SoCal Drillers manager, like, you're just, just hanging them up. Oh, no kidding. Tired of having re- rebuild seasons. Yikes. Yeah. But shout out to SoCal Drillers. Well, you know, when it comes down to you Sunday know. League ball, though, you know, I I just remember it being It's like, not always over, right? Like, yeah. a prime example right here. Yeah, yeah it's, never, it's not yeah. always over. Just go out and play some ball. Go out and play some ball, you know, whether you're rebuilding or not. Just go out and have some fun. Yeah. You know, it's got to be your escape. It's got to be your release. All mm. these dudes have, you know, their Monday through Friday gig. Yep. Their their day job. We're talking about routine, baby. We're talking about routine. <laughs> We're talking about routine. <laughs> you know, even the moonlight is a routine. Exactly. The sun rises. The sun rises. Mm-hmm. The moon comes up. Mm-hmm. You know, that's a routine, too. Just stay out there and play some ball. That's that's the name of the game. Yeah, man. Just have some fun. Even if we fun. talk shit about you losing all the time. <laughs> <laughs> At least we're talking about you. I mean, you have some fun with it. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. But it's all in good nature, man. Ain't nobody trying to be uh, a yeah. dickhead. I used to be a dickhead on here. Remember that shit? Mm-hmm. Uh, you'd be like, yo, mm-hmm. man, can you, like, tone it down? Hey, yo, can we re-record this episode? <laughs> <laughs> Has that ever happened? Did we ever do that? I feel I like know, maybe there, we, there, it happened once. There's been some times where I'm like, yo, we shouldn't say that. No, fuck it. It's staying on there. I've I've said some shit yeah, on here. No, nope, yeah. I'm not. I'm not taking it out. Nope. Yeah. I'm not taking it out. <laughs> yeah. Not, I said it, so I'm leaving it. I'm like, All yeah. Right, Bosky, that's your. And ass. I went I'm through on. a phase where I was like, yeah, Bosky said it. Bosky said it. <laughs> I'm like, all right, man. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> it's worked out so far pretty pretty well, I'd say. Mm. It's been it's been it's been yeah, cool. So far. But I, but I've also I've toned it back. You know, admittedly. admittedly, admittedly, it's because you don't have Rube around as much to be a bad influence. Man, on fuck you. Rube, <laughs> <laughs> drunk motherfucker, <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's because he's not around to to poke the bear, you know, so to speak. Oh, did you just call me a bear? I call you a bear. <laughs> Rar, <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> Roar. Oh, shit. Oh, bear man. If you don't know what a bear is, I'm glad you don't know what a bear is. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Just know that he goes rawr. 
just like that. Just like that, dude. Okay, uh, uh, but yeah, let's uh, let's, let's move it on. Let's, let's move throw it. a couple shout outs to the Fontana we, uh, Fontana League Young Guns down in Double A, who are ten and one, with oh. uh, almost uh, plus one hundred run difference. Oh, fuck. almost. I never seen that. Okay, Sh- shout out to them, and also ca- shout out to the California Dobies, who have more than a negative one hundred run difference. But they got to win. Who do they beat? They got to win. Who did they? I got to see who they beat. Okay, I'll let you yeah. research that. Uh, okay, I got single find A that. Phillies are ten zero and one, and uh, the Mariners in single A are one and ten, <laughs> with a forty three to one hundred and eighteen run differential. Yikes. Uh, you want to see who they beat? Um, I can filter it. I got you. I you got, got you. It? Okay. Yeah, I just got to go through it. I'm gonna figure out who the Mariners beat. Oh, the Mariners won on a bye. Uh the California Dobies won on a on a forfeit against the Mudcats. Wow. These motherfuckers were called the Molly Water Mudcats. <laughs> what is Molly Water? Well, I guess there's that's why we have the internet. Somebody Molly is, uh, Water. One of the major leaguers has a has that song as their walk up. Mm. I want to say Molly water is a bottled water with one Molly pill or uh, dissolved into it. I'm about I'm about to be rolling off this Molly water G by (laughs) slang Defina (laughs) (laughs) Urban Dictionary, bitch. (laughs) There you go. You've just been schooled. (laughs) Oh, (laughs) that's what it says. That's the very top search. All right, I just go off the first one. Very nice, both. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. Let's right. go. Coming in clutch. So uh, moving on past uh, Fontana Baseball League, let's go to the Aztec League. We don't have a whole lot of scores. I just know that the Devil Rays played the Indians. The oh, we do have one one result though. One result: the NY Yankees. They're not your Yankees. The NY Yankees lost, lost another to the dirt. one. Another one to the Durham Bulls. That's oh, two no. in a row. Oh man! If they lose one more, you know what we call that DH a losing a streak. A losing streak. Yikes! The New York, the not your Yankees, <laughs> do lose another. Um, there is the IE White Sox versus Del Rio. Don't have the scores for that, and uh, also don't have the score for Dukes versus Team USA. Team, so, not, and that's not the good Team USA. That's a different one. So yeah, yeah. we'll move past uh, the Aztec on that note. We want to. We could run down the uh, the standings real quick, just to it. just the, to show the uh, Aztec leave uh, the Aztec league. the Aztec league some love in the AAA of the Aztec league. The Dukes sitting at the top at five and one. Uh, they got a plus nine run differential. The NY Yankees four one and one mm-hmm. with a plus twenty seven run differential. The Still Dur- the best run differential yeah. in the league. Yep. Uh, Durham Bulls four and two. 10, plus ten, Del Rio baseball plus eighteen at three and two. Durham Bulls were at four and two. My bad. Did I say that? I yeah, probably I think did. So. Team USA five hundred at three and three with a negative seven run differential. The Devil Rays ah, this motherfucking website switched it up. I got me. you. Devil Rays at two and four with a negative fifteen run differential. The IE White Sox also two and four negative twenty one, and then the Indians still looking for their first win zero and six with a negative twenty one yeah, differential. Man, it must suck to not win. <laughs> How did it feel today, Boski? It sucked. <laughs> there you go. It does. Sucks. <laughs> lo- losing fucking sucks, man. Losing it sucks does. ass. But you got to learn how to it. lose. You got to learn how to lose. It's I've cliche. learned how to lose for far gotta, too long. You got to learn how I need, to lose. I need to learn how to win. So you know how to win. No, you know, I, know where you go wrong. I'd rather so not know how to, how to lose. I don't know how to lose. I'd rather not. When is it an individual thing? Like I'm pretty good at not losing, but like like team wise, like it's frustrating, man. I don't think there's anybody do in the entire planet that has never lost at anything. I I lose this stuff. I lose this yeah, stuff for sure. I don't think there's anybody yeah. ever that's perfect that's never lost at yeah. anything whatsoever. I think I'm talking percentages though, like like more so. Mm. Like I'd rather have a winning percentage than a fucking losing percentage. You oh, know? of course. Yeah, fuck that. Of course, losing sucks. Don't be a loser. Losing does suck, but you know what? If you didn't learn anything from it, <laughs> then it really sucks. Then it, yeah, then then you're actually really losing. So, yeah, I guess that's what you know. Lo- you know the you cliche, know like yeah. losing is not so bad. I guess that's something losers say. <laughs> Losing's not so bad. At least we got to play, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, don't be a loser. <laughs> All right, Okaba, Okaba. We got some results here. The Orioles take out the Mission Viejo Pirates, eleven to one. We also have the Athletics versus the OC Generals. We don't have a score for that one. 
But the Athletics Generals, Athletics win 9 to 8. Oh. Yeah, that, that one's updated. That is. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I was going to say, you know, one can assume what it would you know what happened to the to the generals because mm-hmm. Fitz is not on the podcast. <laughs> well, they lost, but so they lost. Yeah. All right, and then uh, we also have the Cardinals taking out the Maniacs. The seven Maniacs six. lost. Oh. Killing me, Smalls. Maniacs lose. Killing me, JB. Seven to six, one run ball game. The Anaheim Angels take out the power ranked Padres. Ooh. three to one. Okay. So you know there's going to be some changes there. Oh, man. And I then, love this. I uh, love this. Lastly, the Trash Pandas versus OC Indians. No score. Don't there. have a score. Yeah, it's still not updated on that one. General Zeus by one. That's tough. It looks like yeah. the Generals started out uh, hot, actually. <laughs> they uh, they started off with a 7-4 to three, seven to four lead after three innings. But then the Athletics came back, scored three in so the So they fourth. really punch in the fucking box score? Yeah. That's sick. Athletics uh, scored three in the fourth, one in the fifth, one in the seventh. Um, and then the OC Generals answered with one in the eighth, but it wasn't enough. Final score, nine to eight. It's tough. That's Let's tough. Take a look. Let's take a look at the box score, though. We got OC Generals batting stats. Ooh. Andrew Herrera went two for three with a double and an RBI and a stolen base. Adrian Bedoya went two for four with an RBI. And those are the only guys with multiple hits for the Generals. Ryan Rose goes eight innings, gives up nine runs, three earned. He gave up a tank. On 11 hits. He gave up a tank to Andrew Gutierrez. Andrew Gutierrez took Ryan Rose deep into the night. Hell yeah. (laughs) Or in the afternoon. Morning. Morning. Uh, Yeah, morning, afternoon, whatever have you. Um. And then who else you got? Clint Williamson. And then there's a Dominic Capone or Capone. Oh, uh, it's Capone. that's Capone. Yeah. Damn. There's a Clint. Dom name. Capone. What a name. Dom Capone. Dom Capone. What a name. And he bats cleanup. Yeah. Went two for four. No, I'm sorry. One for three with two runs scored. Had a double. And a nice. double. Hit by pitch. He got dosed. Yep. By Ryan Rose. <laughs> <laughs> that a boy. Boy, Rosie. Fuck your own name, Dom Capone. <laughs> no, not really. Just kidding. <laughs> you walk that one back? Yeah, I'm gonna walk that back. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know Dom. He's just got a dope name. Yeah. That's probably Ryan Rose. Yeah, it's, it's a cool name. Uh, that's probably the best name on here. Ryan Rose is a pretty dope name, too, though. Yeah. To Bilar. I can see it. Can Robert see it. Loomis. <laughs> All right. So... Um, <laughs> There's your uh there's that game and then the Trash Pandas OC Indians no score there. Got nothing. Uh as far as standings standings oh uh, standings check. Let's move that one back. Standings uh as sitting at the top at 4 and 1, the Cardinals and the Padres. Nice. Both 4 and 1. Uh the OC Indians 2 and 1, Orioles 2 and 1, the Maniacs 2 and 2, clean it up. Anaheim Angels 2 and 2. I'm not you know what? I I should walk that one back with the Maniacs because they won their top their division the A division last mm-hmm. season. Mm-hmm. They moved up and they got a couple of dubs so They're far. They're holding their own. Yeah. Uh Anaheim Angels 2 and 2, Trash Pandas 2 and 2, Mission Viejo Pirates 1 and 3, Athletics 1 and 4 at the bottom of the barrel. Probably going to get relegated back to single A, the OC Generals. Generals. Chaz Jism, Jazz Jism, Generals Genitals. Jism. <laughs> you like your you like your interchangeable I like, yeah. terms. Yeah. I love it. And moving on to But the it o- is it is Chaz Jism. <laughs> moving on to the <laughs> OC RBL. Uh the only score that we have is the OC Rays take out the Smokies six to two. The Smokies. OC Rays remain undefeated in the OC RBL. They are also a Sunday League power ranked team. Mm. La Luz played against the Cali Padres. The, Caball- the Caballos played against the OC Aces. And then the Diamondbacks went against the Charros, but no scores. Coño. I need scores. We all do. I want more scores. You don't score until you score. What movie is that? <laughs> I don't know, man. It's American Pie. You know, getting... that surprised me that you've seen that movie, but you haven't seen other movies like this freaking... dude fucks a pie <laughs> on his countertop. <laughs> what is that? I don't I mean, I, I find it hilarious. I'm just like, this motherfucker really just boned a pie. <laughs> you know, it's a si- similar type of movie as uh, the one that Rube was quoting yesterday or last episode uh-huh. that you didn't know. 
Um, what movie was that? See, was, I forget, dude. Uh, with Will Ferrell, uh, old school. It was old school. You haven't seen old school? No. Yeah. I only know. Uh, I only know the part. Where, uh, We're going streaking, and I only know that because Streak Talkers podcast. So. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they open up every episode. We're going streaking, and then he goes, yeah. it gets into this sick ass beat, and I'm just like, man, it's dope. I'm envious. You know, it would make Rube yeah. very proud to just sit you down in front of the TV and just play all of these movies back to back that he thinks are hilarious that yeah. you've never seen. And also, uh, always sunny. Always, always sunny. Sunny. That's the other one. I'm just like, I don't know. I kind of like the office better, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Anyways. Okay. So let's go to PCBL. Oh, what league? I'm just kidding. <laughs> PCBL. <laughs> we need a, we need a fucking uh, sound bite for that. Go for it. Boski. All right. Scores. Yeah, let's go over some scores. The Copenhagens lose to the platoon two to one. Ouch. I, I mean, mean, they're not the only ones who have lost to them. <laughs> no, not today. L.A. Skunks lose uh, lose to the L.A. Hard Knocks nine to five. The Academic Quakes and the L.A. Rats somehow got rained out. Somehow <laughs> in this hot ass day, <laughs> somebody probably left the sprinklers on on the field. <laughs> Crash Day was like, I could get us a, a rain out. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Bull Durham. Go watch Bull. If you haven't watched Bull Durham, I should let me punch you in the face. That's probably you know it probably <clears> didn't <throat> get rained out. I bet you it was just somebody forgot to turn off the sprinklers. Well, yeah. and they're gonna call it a rain out <laughs> because it sounds better than cancellation due to sprinklers. Yeah, it's like the whole thing that happened with uh, the rocket that got shot up into the sky and it blew mm. up and it exploded. What? <laughs> yeah, the, with, well, there's a rocket that was expl- there was a was rocket. This? this was just a couple of days ago. It was like a, okay. it was a SpaceX rocket, I think, or Another Elon one? Musk. It was an Elon Musk company. Okay, and it was like a really expensive rocket that shot up into. It was going into space. I would imagine every rocket is expensive, Bl- but it blew up like damn. Talk a about a couple minutes into flight. Talk about burning money, and he was pissed off. Well, yeah, naturally, and um. So the, another, what is the, what is even SpaceX? They didn't call it an explosion though. Training they exercise. They called it they called it a a random rapid disassembly. Okay. Or unscheduled rapid disassembly is what it was called. <laughs> unscheduled. An unscheduled. Well, you know what? That kind of makes sense. Like if we're talking space rockets and shit, because when they're when they're going up, like I've watched enough movies to where like disengage this, disengage yeah. that, and then like all the rocket parts start falling off. That way, like once they're in like space space, they just float away. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. It sounds better. A ran, uh, uh, unscheduled rapid disassembly than mm. an explosion. That sounds way better. It sounds like a lot it. better. Therefore, yeah. rain out sounds better than spring. <laughs> Regulators <laughs> beat the Berserker six to two. CBA Tigers then the platoon in the second part of the platoon's doubleheader. Platoon wins six to four. Good shit. I thought it was eight six. It's six to four. It was six four. It was a two run game. I ran it. I walked it back earlier. You just didn't hear me. Okay. Um, or I uh, wasn't paying attention. Yeah. And then <laughs> maybe not. L.A. Skunks and the Regulators, eleven to six. So it looks like the Regulators had another, had themselves a doubleheader. They won both. Mm. Good for them. Mm-hmm. Um, fuck. I think like I think the Hard Knocks. Okay. Uh, let me see. L.A. Skunks Regulators. Uh, uh, Regulators win eleven to six. SFV Giants lose to the Venice Pumas 12 to 9 and the Academia Quakes actually did end up playing a baseball game today. They lose to the Hard Knocks 3 to 2. Oh, And that happens from time to time. You can't happens, win them all. Man. You get a rain out but then you get to play the second game. <laughs> Too funny. I don't know how that works. They turned the sprinklers off. <laughs> they they found they found the custodian. They found the diamond dry. <laughs> like, hey, sh-. All right. Well, on that note, the platoon moved to 7 and 0. Raptors stay at 6 and 0. No game mm-hmm. for the Raptors today. The yeah, LA why? Rats, don't know. Just bullshit. Somebody left the sprinklers. They should have played. LA Raptors at four and two, CBA Tigers, Hard Knocks, Regulators, all at four and three. Academic Quakes at three and three, the Pumas two and three, Skunks two and six, the Giants, the Copenhagens at one and five, and the Berserkers, zero oh and five. What is a Berserker? There's like ah, I go Berserker. Probably. Yeah. I know. I know Wolverine. Go, wild animal. I know Wolverine, the Marvel character, goes into Berserker mode and he just destroys everything. I remember playing that. Uh, uh, what was it? Marvel versus Capcom. Mm-hmm. You remember playing that that arcade yeah, game? Yeah, yeah. He had a move called Berserker Barrage. Oh, okay. He just kind of like just goes wild. Just goes Berserker ham, Barrage, yeah. and he just starts clawing <laughs> at shit. Nice. 
Oh yeah, I remember that's one of his things. Like he goes into berserker mode, and then which, if, by the way, yeah. Bosque, have you ever gotten a fight with somebody and they were like seriously trying to fight you? Would you take them seriously if they just started calling out their moves that they were about to do? I couldn't. No, There's jumping no. high spin kick. I mean, if, unless they execute the first one, then I'll be like, oh shit. You know, but if they don't execute the first one, I'll like just be some like, fool just came up to you and was like, hey, fool, you talk shit about me. I'm about to go berserker barrage. <laughs> and laugh. Like, what? Are you okay? Probably reach for my knife, dude. Like, you know, okay. hand, my hand does one of these. Like, yeah. But that's right. What, what you say, man? You're talking to me? Say it again. Say it one more time. <laughs> look at that thing. I look like a lesser. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that? The age. I mean, it's got to be fucking the god. I mean, the freaking Scarface. Scarface it's got to yeah. be Scarface. Look at that pelican. Oh, I'm pelican. <laughs> you know, when you do that with your chin and you start making that voice, uh-huh. I just. Oh, you already know. Okay. I already know where you're Dead going. Dead giveaway. Gotcha. Dead giveaway. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I was I was having a I was having a beer with the butcher today. Oh, after the game, nice. yeah, we had some. Yeah, we had a couple. We had a couple of beers, man. Hell yeah. Uh, we were talking. Uh, 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 pitch tipping from pitchers, like they pitch, you know, they tip yeah. themselves. And we were talking about like forearm striations. I was oh, like, okay. oh, I've never thought of the fucking forearm striations. Like, you know, like instead of like a pitcher can, pr- yeah. for the most part, like if they know they know what they're doing, they can they can hide their hand movements, yeah. right? But they can't really hide their finger movements here, right? Like you can see, like kind of my forearm, right? I'm kind of moving my fingers around and shit. Right, right, right. So yeah. If, like if they're if they're digging around in their gloves, just like like doing one of these and shit. It's like oh, okay, like they're digging in their gloves. I I never thought of the fucking forearms, but you've never been one to try to you know pick up on a pitcher tipping. No, that's true. I've never you've never, never been that type of person because mm-hmm. I do remember there's been times where I try to tell you, Boski, this guy is doing this. Yeah. So when you see this, he's gonna throw this, mm-hmm. and you're just like, I don't give a fuck, man. I see ball, hit ball. Yeah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm very a, reactive. I'm yeah. a fucking man. I don't yeah. try to. I don't try to. <laughs> figure this shit out I just <laughs> I don't, I don't try to get an advantage yeah that's pretty much what right. you said I tried that's telling true. you and you're like I don't give a fuck that's gonna throw did I hit off. a tank by any no chance? I don't remember I think there was one time where I, I told you I was like look out for this this and this and this and you tried it and then I think you either struck out or you got out and you're like no fuck that I'm not doing that shit again <laughs> fuck that that shit throws me off all right but there's yeah there's been times where like mm. for example t- threw, threw me off my routine man <laughs> for example um there was a guy that we used to play with uh, mm-hmm. when we were playing in the Premier League back in the day. You mm. remember Nick? Mm. He was like our infielder. He was uh, like maybe a second baseman or shortstop. His name was yeah. Nick. Mm. But anyway, uh, long story short, I crossed paths with him again in the FBL. He okay. was playing on a different team and he was pitching. Okay. And he's got good stuff. Like he throws pretty hard. Throws throws a pretty hard, you know, firm fastball. Yeah. And he's got. Oh, I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah, it's coming back to me. And yeah. he's got a nice little breaking ball. So. You know, if you're not, if you don't know what you're looking for, you know, you, you're going to be, you're going to be, you're going to be off a little bit. Right. And I got lucky enough to face him when he was pitching from the stretch. Gotcha. And he was one of those guys that when he's getting the sign from the catcher, he puts the ball behind his back. Oh. And, and he's one of those guys that when he got the sign from the catcher, mm-hmm. he went and gripped the ball before he put it in his glove. Uh, and he would do it 100% of the time. You can yeah. see the fastball grip mm-hmm. versus the curveball grip. Wow. Like, okay. clear as day. I, and, I, I think I remember this guy. And I picked up on that. Yeah. And I and I knew what was coming every single time. Mm-hmm. And I got a hit off of him every single That's time. That's dope, dude. That's so dope. I do try to pick up on, like, tendencies and things like yeah. that. Because, okay. yeah, you want to know. Yeah. Well, you need it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I'm sorry. I, that was too easy. You just, you just lay, easy layup, bro. Damn it. I'm just fucking with you, dude. That's nah, but I mean, I wonder, I wonder how much better I would be if I knew what was coming. Yeah. If you want, if yeah. you ever wanted to incorporate that in your game, you yeah. never know, man. You I mean, know. like I, I've tried, but I think I'm just not, I'm not good at it. I, I don't need it. <laughs> no, I'm just not good at. I'm not good at at a. I'm very reactive to hitting. I'm just like, all right, let me see if I can pitch it, pick it up out of his hand, pick up the spin. Yeah. You know, pick up the arm slot and all that bullshit. Yeah, that's oh, my brain. Oh, hurts. My dude, brain hurts. I love those pitchers that when yeah. they're pitching from the stretch, they got yeah. the ball behind their back. Mm-hmm. I pick a lot of yeah. every time. You, you know what I'm really good at, dude? Is like when I'm on the field, like I can read a hitter pretty well. Like th- there isn't too many times where, where like I really got to run down a ball in the infield. Like I got to range for it. Like I'm pretty, for the most part, like it's a step this way or step that way, and like I, it's almost right at me almost every time. Yeah. It's yeah. random. It, it's random when, like, if I get, to, if I actually get to something, because I know my range is limited. It's, oh, it always has been. 
you know, but I can read like I read the ball off the bat better, like on the on the right side of the field, second base, first base, you know. Yeah. But uh, but but hitters too, like they 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 give themselves away, and and that's always what I've I've, I've kind of like excelled at, like all right, like kind of like based off of like what the pitcher's throwing, how it's coming out of his hand, how the, pit, the batter's reacting, like are they hitting their spots all game, you know? Yeah. If 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 a if a, if a the pitcher's throwing on the outside half, and they're hitting their spot all game, dude, like. And I know it's a good hitter. Like more than likely, like they're probably going to hit it to the right side. A good mm-hmm. hitter because they, you know, good hitters. That's what they do, mm-hmm. you know. But also just reading the swing and like how good, how how off balance are is everybody. Like I'm pretty good at like reading hitters. I, it, but it's pitch by pitch. Like you have to. The adjustment's always pitch by pitch. If you're trying to adjust per at bat, you're fucked. You know. But you have, it's every time pitch by pitch. Okay, it's like oh he just did this. Oh, he did that. You know, so, mm-hmm. Yeah, I love baseball. <laughs> Me too. So, <laughs> we're married to the game, DH. I love it a lot. Uh, yeah. All right. So that's uh, SoCal MSBL. The mm. Whalers holding down the AAA division at five and one. Nice. And then uh, the Crooks down in the AAA division are four and two. Apparently, they um, they lost today. Oh, they got smoked. Fourteen, 14 to eight today. Jesus. Eight. Well, they at least got they got drilled. <laughs> they got drilled. By, aren't they rivals? I mean, they're. I think that I remember him saying something about that. You know, the yeah. drillers, and they're very, they're pretty evenly matched. Yeah. As far as the you know their, their offense and yeah. the, the, the pitching, so yeah, I mean, it's nice to be rivals with somebody that you know you're at least pretty evenly matched against. Yeah. Um. But all right, better luck next week. SoCal MSBL. Mm. That's fun. SoCal MSBL, we have the uh, power ranked Team USA defeating the Marlins nine to six. Nice. The Nationals, the Nationals, Boski. Who are the Nationals? The Nationals today? may potentially, possibly, do something. They 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 may have some interest in entering the chat. Okay. They mm-hmm. take out the Sun Devils or the Sea Wolves. Sun mm-hmm. Devils slash Sea Wolves three to nothing. Sun Devils were uh, or are a power ranked team from our perspective, mm-hmm. but the Nationals have a little something to say about that. The Nationals beat them, and they are now three and zero in the SoCal MSBL, okay. tied with Team USA for the best record in the top division. But oh. the run differential for the Nationals is by far better. It's, it's hard to ignore. Yeah, I'm looking at. It, I'm like, oh, I like the single digit. Team USA, obviously the the. My, the best offensive team, but the Nationals keeping runs off the board, twenty-five to three, run differential. Yeah, not bad at all. Love so that. Congratulations on the victory. Uh, the you know the uh, so there are certain eyes on them now. Mm-hmm. We'll see where they go. <laughs> OC Titans take out the OC Orcas seven to two. Orca. <laughs> I just like saying Orca. <laughs> Orca. <laughs> That's from some movie, dude. The Superstar. Know. I don't know. Oh, God damn it. You keep going. Now. Okay. I got to look this o- bullshit uh, o- up. OC Titans win 7-2. to two. The OC Red Sox versus the Dirt Bags. Don't have uh, an updated score for that one at the moment. And then uh, the Hot Funk versus the Dodgers. I don't have a score for that one either. God damn it, Hot Funk. God damn it. Damn Clean it. it up. What's their record? Uh, we, haven't, we haven't talked about the Hot Funk in a minute, man. Well, the Hot they're, Funk they're hot and funky. 0-2. <sighs> And depending on how well they did today, they may still be winless. The OC Red Sox are also 0-2, um, pending their score today. Mm-hmm. And they haven't scored any runs in their first two games. Oh, wow. In fact, they have a 0-26 to 26 <laughs> run differential. <laughs> so... Damn, not, I'm not I'm not trying to be mean by laughing. I'm just like, I'm kind of surprised. Like, they haven't scored a run? It's like, of course the Red Sox haven't scored a fucking <laughs> run. Jesus. Like, Sounds about right. Sounds about right. And so there you have it. Um, in the MSBL, SoCal MSBL, Team USA Nationals, uh, 3-0. Marlins, 2-0-1-1. And then uh, everybody else is in there. Now, you know, I hear the Marlins are actually pretty good. Oh, is that right? That's what I hear. That's what you hear. That's what I hear. It's to be determined. From inside sources of SoCal MSBL? Yes. Okay, that's what matters. That's what matters. That's, that's probably what matters the most, is as mm-hmm. long as it's somebody who has seen them before. Yeah. Not just somebody on the team. Oh, yeah. Hey, no. good too. Look, if you fucking DM and you're like, 
yeah, we're, we're the, talk yourself up and this and that. I'm, I'm going to take it with a grain of salt. I've learned a couple of things in the recent weeks. And I'm just like, okay, I'm taking everything with a grain of salt now. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, well. F- FML sometimes. <laughs> I'd be reading some shit. I'm just like, ooh. And then other times I'm like, oh, oh damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. What do you mean? Yes. yes. <laughs> the way you said, "Damn it!" I'm like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Yes. Accurate. <laughs> Accurate. Pasillas. Let's move on to the Pasillas League. One of my favorite leagues, dude. By the way, really, very, very low key competitive. One of my least favorite leagues. Why? Because they're so mysterious. They don't update mm-hmm. their scores. But you know what? That's bullshit on your part because you like that kind of shit. You're you're like ah, oh, but they're mysterious. Like, yeah, the, but. You know, I want to know more. I want to know more, and that mm-hmm. frustrates me too. Like, yeah. I want to know more about you know some of these teams. I wish they had a an IG. Like yes. some of these leagues. Yeah, some of these teams do have IGs. Some of the teams do, but not many. But yeah, I mean, definitely. Uh, I'm definitely curious about them. Oh yeah. So, I, and I know that the area has a lot of talent, mm-hmm. a lot of talent. So that just you know tells me. That a lot of these teams are pretty fucking good. Well, starting bunch of, a bunch of dogs, dude. Bunch of savages. Speaking of pretty good, Diablo's TD is not so bad. They're mm-hmm. a power, Sunday League power rank team. Yep. But. Oh. But. They no lost. Uh, Who they lose they to? They lost to the Cerveceros. Coño. 10-4. to four. Defending champs, Diablo's lose to the Cerveceros, who are also a Sunday League power rank team. Mm-hmm. But 10-4. to four. To end the season. Because the season is over, and now it's time for playoffs. Yes, we have playoff baseball. Fuck yeah. Don't have a score for the G-Braves versus the P-Primos. <laughs> Don't have a score for the Jacks or the Toros. Oh, wait. Did the Toros beat the Jacks? Oh, that... I, I will get back to you. Okay. Keep going. Uh, as of right now, I don't have that score updated. but And I don't have any other scores in the Pasillas League. But we can confirm the Z-Fighters. Very nice, very nice. Take out the Fantasmas. The Fantasmas. Z Fighters defending champs. My motherfucking Z Fighters. They are uh, looking to defend their lower division championship, so they enter the playoffs on a high note. Hey, man, the division is minor. 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 Yes. Defending champs. Let's go Z Fighters. Let's go. I mean, you already know. Sunday League the yeah, podcast dude. is behind you, so let's yep. get it. thousand percent. Let's get it. Yeah. And then uh, great go- interview, by the way. Just you know, shameless plug. Uh-huh. Go back and listen to Z Fighters uh interview. Of course. Yeah, that was yeah. that one was fun. That was a lot that was a lot of fun. Loved having them. Oh yeah. Loved having them at your house, Boski. <laughs> you want to have them at your house next time? <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm sure. Said, sure. <laughs> California Elite. Let's go on to another division. California Ooh, the Elite. Elite. Uh the only score that I have for this one is the Cafeteros taking out the Llaneros, thirteen to two. The Cubbies also got a dub as I scroll through all of our stories. Uh, let me see. The Cubs won 8-2 to two against the Valley Aztecs. All right. Yeah, that got, I got that one from the old IG, man. Very nice. Cubs 8-2 to two over the Valley Aztecs. And that's the only other score. Yeah, that that's, about, that's about all we got for. Uh, all right. And then uh, San Fernando Valley, we got the Mustangs taking out the Silmar Bombers 10-9. And then La Villita over El Molino 12-8. to Very nice. Yes. Very nice. And yeah. then I, I want to do a quick st- uh, a quick uh, uh, standings check mm-hmm. on, on the uh, San Fernando Valley Baseball League. Also the CBA, the CPA tri- uh, AAA uh, major. Okay. Please do. Yeah. So quick, quick... Uh, <sighs> quick quick uh little standings check here. As of six days ago, <laughs> which was last week. Um let me see. At the top of the division of the San Fernando Valley Baseball League, the major standings, the Rays are sitting at the top four and El Molino at four and La Victoria three and one. Silmar Bombers two and one. Park Bums two and one. Uh, with a they got a plus ten run differential. Okay, I love it. The Mustangs two and two, in sixth place. La Villita in seventh with a two and two 
record. The Toros one and three in eighth place. The Caneros, Cañeros, one and three in ninth place. Uh, La Escondida in tenth at one and three. Brew Crew also at one and three in eleventh. And the Angels at the bottom of the barrel, zero oh and four. Very nice. Yep, yep, yep. Bring it up. Yes, sir. Park Bums won last week six to one. I think we mentioned that already, right? La yep. Vita beat the La Escondida. Who else? Mustangs lose to La Victoria. El Molino beat the Angels, and the Rays beat the Cañeros. Before we get into our Sunday League Power Rankings, Boski, just uh-huh. want to shout out San Jose Naba and there's some some of their scores that came out. So, uh, the San Jose Marlins Showcase beat the Cubs four to one, and this, that's the first loss for the San Jose Cubs this season in Division One. Interesting. The the Topes beat the San Jose Reds three to nothing. The Silicon Valley Eagles lose to the Bay Area Blue Jays twelve to one, and the Campbell Royals take out the Santa Clara Twins eleven to three. In Division One, you got San Jose Cubs at the top with the Topes, or is it the Topes? It's the Topes. It's got to be the Topes. I kind of want it to be Topes, <laughs> because what does that translate to? Exactly? I have no idea. It's like the top uh, toppies, <laughs> toppies. <laughs> I'm just gonna punch this and see what pops up. <laughs> topes. <laughs> San Jose Marlins showcase at three and one, and then the San Jose Rockies at two and one, and Bay Area Blue Jays two one and one. Tope. Third person third person present. Topes. Archaic literary. It's a verb. Drink alcohol to excess, especially on a regular basis. He was toping the while from a flag on of sec. Flag on of sec. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> from the dictionary. Okay. On the internet. All right. <laughs> Good job, internet. You win. Excellent. <laughs> you, you win every day. Yeah. Okay. So tope, top. Tope, toping, in, it's an intransitive verb uh, to drink liquor to excess, uh, a small slender cosmopolitan, whatever. Yeah, it, it, it involves drinking. Yeah, it's, um, it's, oh, the tope. 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 Can you guys hear that? Tope. 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 Yeah, I mean, they can't answer right. us live. It is confirmed. They're like, what? We can't hear it. It said tope. All right, Boski, you ready for the power rankings? I'm not because I wanted to get some some scores real quick from the the CBA league. Oh yeah, I'm going straight off their stories. Go here we go. The A minor Tigers won nine to four. Aguatlan and Los Royales, the Royals, mm. both friends of the pod. Hey, what up? They played against each other today. Aguatlan takes the dub over the Royals three to nothing. Oh, yeah, that game went zero zero into the uh, into the eighth, I believe. Damn, yeah, pitchers duel. Pitcher's duel. A pitcher's duel or um, what would you call it? Hater, hitters doing really bad. Oof, that's a good one. Uh, a hitter's, hitter's duel or a, a hitter's a, struggle. A hitter, yeah, okay. What's another term for a struggle? Like some, some that, that sounds smart. A hitter's um... <laughs> <laughs> adventure. No. Mm. Hitters, damn it! It's getting too deep for me, both. Deportivo San Isidro <laughs> won. They won eleven to five in their game, um, and that's that's about all I got as far as scores. The hitters lament, lament, oh, the lamentations of their women. <laughs> Do you know what that's from? <laughs> Probably Scarface. It's, no, it's from Conan the Barbarian. <laughs> 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 yeah, shout out to Zev and Micah and, and all the homies on uh, on, on the Royals. Sucks you guys lost, man. I'm sorry. It's all good, wish, man. I wish they could have pulled it out. But Awatlan doing their thing. Yeah. You know, uh, I know, uh, is it Oscar from the Awatlan? They, they did their thing, man. Hey, yeah. So, there you go. Yeah. Hell yeah. What else we got? Are we doing, uh, we're going to do spow- these power rankings then? Let's get it, Boski. Fuck. Let's not, for- let's not forget about Sound Off Sunday. No, we're going to do that after Cup Check. Oh, okay. We gotta All do right. that after cup check. Yeah. So let's run through these power rankings and mm. piss some people off real quick. Oh, are we gonna do some MLB talk? Or are we doing that today? Yeah, sure. Why not? Damn. Okay. I, okay. 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 We're good. All right. Let's do it. <coughs> DHs. Is he, last week they were mine. Last week was yours. Last week they were mine. So last these are. are, are, are okay. I like yours, by the way. You like I thought mine? yours were good. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you did well. You think you, you did? Some, you did something that. Along the lines of what I would have also done. Okay, fair so enough. It makes sense. Okay. It made sense. Yeah. You can make an argument yeah. for all your I, choices. I, I I do I do have a conflict of interest now, 
now I do. Nah. So it's kind of like, like, oh, I got to probably take a step back. <clears throat> but I do have some input. And I appreciate uh, you owning that because you did say that to me earlier. Mm-hmm. When yeah. We're coming up with these rankings. Yeah, I definitely have some conflict of interest now that okay. I'm playing. Well, let's get it out of the way. Let's do it. Right, let's do it. right here and right now. Let's the tropics it. have fallen off of the <laughs> top 25. Oh, shit. Repeat sorry that. To say, Can you repeat that louder, please? I'm sorry to say it. I'm mm-hmm. sorry to say it, but the tropics have fallen off the top 25. Yeah, but it, they're not the only ones. It's fair to say, though. It is fair to say that that uh, having a losing record, you probably shouldn't be in the top. And they're top not 25. The, yeah, they're not the only ones that have fallen off mm-hmm. as well. The sea wolves slash sun devils are also nowhere to be found in these updated power rankings. Where did they go? <laughs> they're like number 26 or 27, 28, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. It's all about the top twenty. Imagine if we did a top one hundred. Oh God! No, don't get somebody. Somebody no. should. Yeah, you guys should do a top one hundred yeah, tournament. Prepare to answer the DMs tomorrow. Oh, that, I fucked up. <laughs> the magic of editing. <laughs> a March Madness tournament, all sixty four teams. For oh no, no, Although, no, that no. Would, that would be pretty. I'm not dope. doing it. That <laughs> that would be sick. That'd be sick. Not yet. Not yet. We're not. All right, there let's yet. stop with. Let's start with the top twenty. Uh, the number twenty five team, a new. Entrant Ooh, into somebody new the power rankings. Oh yeah, the Toros of the Pasillas League. Oh okay, holding okay. down the number two spot in their division. Uh, don't know if they won today or not. I'm sure they did, probably. But they're in at number twenty five. Number twenty four, we have another new entrant. The Toros played the Jacks. Sorry, yeah, the Jacks. Yeah. I'm sure the Toros won. Another new entrant into the power rankings. We got the Nationals from SoCal MSBL. Mm, you teased at this a little bit. They're three and zero yeah. with that twenty-five to three run differential yeah. in MSBL SoCal. So that deserves a little bit of credit. Yeah, they're in at number twenty-four. Number twenty-three, moving up one spot in the California Elite, the Pirates. Ooh, they were at twenty-four. That's the Pacoima Pirates. The Pacoima Pirates in at number twenty-three now. At twenty-two, staying at twenty-two, the Academa Quakes. Even with a loss, who did they lose to? They lost to doing my my epic uh, stalling voice. Oh, I got it. L.A. Hard Knocks. The Knocks. Okay. L.A. Hard Knocks. There we go. So they stay at number twenty-one. It's actually surprising to me. Oh no, my bad. They didn't stay at twenty-one. They moved down one. Mm-hmm. That's my bad. They are now at number 22, the Academa Quakes. Number 21, moving up three spots, the Scabble Roscoes. Ooh, three spots? Moving Doing up. Doing the thing. They're what, 6 0? Oh? They're undefeated. Yeah. They are undefeated in Scabble, and they did win. So they get to, they get to move mm-hmm. up a few spots. It's always a huge plus to be undefeated. Always. I will say. Up three spots at number 21. At number 20, dropping five spots. God damn! Due to back to back losses to unranked, <laughs> to unranked, oh, unworthy okay. opponents. Okay, the NY Yankees. Damn, that's tough. That's tough. That I mean, tough. hey, dude. I mean, yeah. I, I How was, many of these ranked teams though lose back to back games? Not not too often. Not very many. Not but often. they're still in the top twenty. Yeah. Going down to number nineteen, down from seventeen is the Venados from SDABL. Oh, <laughs> can you guess why? Uh, they lost. <laughs> Did they show up? No, that's okay. The best ability is availability. They, some of those guys, some basketball coach said that. <laughs> some of them probably you know got paid to go play elsewhere. But regardless, this is uh, Sunday ball. They get to move. They got to move down two spots. Oh fuck! The Padres. I almost spit out my fucking drink. <laughs> the Padres lose three to one to an unranked team. It's because you said something that <laughs> I was like, oh, <laughs> I had almost spit out my drink. Remember that I, one time I, I spit you. out my drink? Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. oh yeah. The rhinoceros versus the triceratops. Yes. Episode 44 <laughs> or 43. I think it was 43. Um, moving on. Moving on to number 18. The Padres of Okaba move down five spots because they lose three to one to the Anaheim Angels. <laughs> unranked team. They, they, yeah, they lost to Shohei and Mike Trout. <laughs> Padres coming in at 18. Number 17, moving up eight spots because they eight defeated. Eight spots? They defeated the defending. Are you fucking kidding me? Basillas League champs, the Cerveceros, moving up to number 17. God damn, eight spots? Eight spots. What were they, 25? They were 25. Oh, damn. 
There you go. So the Cerveceros is now in the Pasillas. Is that the biggest 17. jump? The biggest jump in history? That not in history, but I think that is the biggest <laughs> jump this so, week in Sunday League Tower <laughs> Rankings history because you know it's so old. <laughs> <laughs> Diablos TD coming in at sixteen. The Pasillas League down three spots, Oof. mainly due to the loss. But yeah. you know, hey, they're defending champs. Let them win a couple playoff games. Watch them move back up. Yeah. The Park Bums of San Fernando Valley stay at number fifteen. Moving up five spots to number 14 is the Hammered Heads of the Fontana Baseball League. Ooh, the Beer Sharks. The Beer Sharks. They literally have two team names. Beer Sharks and the Hammered Heads. Yeah, pretty cool. They defeat the Sun Devils. uh, Coming off of a loss from the previous week, the Hammered Heads avenge, and they come out on top this week. The Cardinals of Okaba go into number 13, up two spots. They also won this week against the Maniacs, 7-6. The Maniacos. Moving up six spots. Six spots. Six spots. I'm moving these fools up six spots. Okay. Exec- you know why. Executive and decision. You change. know why. I know, I know why. I the know. L.A. Angels of Scabble. Your <laughs> L.A. Angels. Little rubes. This is probably the point. LA Angels. This is probably the part where a lot of people just sh- turn the shit off and start cussing at their radio because they're just like, what the <laughs> fuck? You're going to put them ahead of us? But the numbers speak for themselves. Mm-hmm. Two yeah. runs allowed in five games, 50 runs scored, mm-hmm. defending champs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Put them anywhere else. I'm sure they'll hold their own. Mm-hmm. LA Angels at number 12. You think they can compete in a... Uh... Put them in a tournament. They'll hold their own. Okay. They'll hold their own. You want to put them in uh, the Pasillas League? Let's throw them in the Pasillas League. Top yeah, division. hell yeah. I think they can go up against the Diablos. LA Angels TD. LA Angels against <laughs> Diablos. Oh, for sure. For sure. Just TD. No, now you click. click. Oh, okay. I'm a little late to the party. Sorry, Bozo. Oh, you're good. <laughs> staying in at number 11, the Pirates of San Diego. Uh, staying in at number 10, the Sluggos of San Diego. Going down one spot to number nine. Yeah, excuse me. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> Going in at number nine, the CBA Tigers. Down one spot. They were previously at number eight. Now at number nine. Oh, yeah. Number eight. They moving, lost. It sounds like they lost a tough one today. They sure did. Mm-hmm. Moving up a spot to number eight. Oh, moving up? Moving up, getting Damn. closer to the top spot. The SoCal Royals, mm-hmm. the Fontana mm-hmm. Baseball yep. League. And then going in at number seven, down one spot, mainly just because a lot of these teams that are ahead of them did win, and mm-hmm. they didn't get to play. Number seven, the Raptors, PCBL, <clears throat> mm-hmm. coming in at number seven. This I week. would almost argue, I almost, I've actually argued with you, kind of, uh, the Royals putting them at seven and the Raptors eight. I don't, you know, we did argue about we, that. We argued bit. about we it. We sure yeah. did. Yeah. But uh, for now. Yep. Royals, uh, Royals at eight, Raptors at yeah. seven. Like I tell anybody else, man, you keep winning and it'll just take care of it'll itself. Take care of itself. At number six, the OC Rays moving up a spot. The OC RBL came out with a victory. The Threshers moving down to number five. Ooh, they had that split. Okay, you know they what, split what, those two what, games today. What, what are the thoughts behind that? Well, I think if they don't lose that other game, thirteen to nothing, maybe they stay at four. Mm-hmm. Maybe they stay at four, but mm-hmm. you know, because I think that you know, splitting is not a bad thing. Not, yeah. you know, don't get me wrong, splitting is not a bad thing. The Threshers are still a great, solid team, mm-hmm. still a top five team, of course. Yeah, but it just you know just made a little more sense to put the Upland Mets at number four. Wow, okay. taking the the <laughs> Tropics out of the power rankings. Yeah, just good old haymaker. The Mets did it. Yeah, so Mets at number four, at number three. It's the same team as last week, the IE Pride. Mm-hmm. Of course, another statement victory against an unworthy opponent. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> for, this, fair. for this week. And then That's Team USA fair. staying at number two with another victory against the Marlins, which apparently are, you know, not a team to sleep on. Yeah. So Team USA. We're watching you, Marlins. The Team watching. USA did the work. Mm-hmm. They did the work and took them out. So they stay at number two. And then, of course, staying at number one with two victories on Sunday, as if one wasn't enough. Yeah. The Platoon. Platoon. Chris Vilds fucking just dropping dick on everybody. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm hitting the ball off the wall. Damn. You want me to read you the uh, the game synopsis 
for uh is it, is it called synopsis is that the yeah, term that yeah, i'm looking you can for say that summary game summary, summary. Yeah, man. Uh, let's see. So, uh, game one, they won two to one. Copenhagen's brought out tough lefty. Extremely good. Uh, let's see. Alex Torres came in to hold the game after Zach Merker, Mer- Mercer. Mercer. I would assume dominated. Uh, let me see. Threw 19 out of 21 pitches for strikes. First pitches, probably. Yeah. Uh, let me see. He had a, uh, Chris had a sack fly. We got a whole synopsis from him. Chris, Chris Viltz had a sack fly to tie it up. Robert Reeves had the walk-off game-winning hit in the bottom of the ninth. Not a boy. The, the platoon one, one with a, um, a walk-off. Very nice. And then their second game, game two was a battle. I'm reading this shit verbatim. <clears throat> game two was a battle. Tigers brought out three very good arms. The first guy was easily upper 80s with a sharp slider, 12-6 to six curve, and a good changeup. He shut them down for four innings. The second guy was also firm, was also firm and got out of a few jams with a few good pitches. The second guy was also firm. Yes, that's what she said. <laughs> Dustin Emmons kept the game at one run with only with the only uh, let me see the only hard hit on him was an opposite field bomb by the Tigers' best hitter. I would like to know the Tigers' best hitter's name. Uh, yes. Let's see. Uh, la- last guy came in bottom of the eighth, also hard thrower, but couldn't locate the fastball. They had f- a four to nothing lead. On the platoon, CBA Tigers had the platoon on the ropes. On the ropes, um, they had three great at. And let me see, we had three great at bats to load the bases with one out. Robert Reeves walked to put the score at four to one. I, as in Chris Viltz, came up and hit a ball off the wall, dead center, to clear the bases and tie the game. Then Jimmy Lloyd hit a two-run moonshot to go ahead with some big dick energy. Our clo- he didn't, I added that part. You added that part. Yeah. Okay. Our closer, For Felipe flavor. Felipe Hernandez, came in and struck out of the side to end the game. Very nice. Yes. That's a dope, Probably That's a dope some, summary right there. Throw some music over that. <laughs> Put it time. on ESPN Sports Next Center. do 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 yeah, maybe if I ever get this fucking soundboard squared away. <laughs> yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. If you guys want a soundboard, let us know. But also suggest some pretty good uh, sound bites. Speaking of sound, it's time for that cup check. Cup check! We'll be back. You made it, my friend. Wouldn't miss it, sir. Oh, sir, it's for Foggy Bottom. In my castle, I'm Biff. Wow, well, okay then, Biff. Oh, this here's my wife, Helen. Helen? What a beauty. Jeez, Hirsch. <laughs> you win her on Let's Make a Deal? This is my new associate I was telling you all about. Just moved down here from Boston. Can I get you kids a wet one? I'll take a Schlitz if you got, son. <coughs> Thank you, son. That's great. Honey? It's you. It's you. Honey, what's, what's going on? The butcher! The butcher! butcher! Well, gosh darn, Hirsch. You didn't tell me your wife was one of them vegetarians. The butcher of Arlo! The butcher of Arlo! Call the police! Call the police! It's a mute look. Please, please call the police! Hirsch! Please! I think she's having some kind of episode. Hirsch, maybe she wants to lie down in the family room. No, I remember you. I remember your face. Why isn't anyone? Please, please. You should say that's too much. Go to me. Then you go to Florida. Too much. You go. He's slaughtered. He's slaughtered. My family killed him. My family slaughtered. Then he killed him. Jeez, man, this is this is really something, Hirsch. And in my own gosh darn home, I think I'd like you to leave now. The butcher. You better watch out for that guy. Yeah, he shoots everybody at the end of that scene. Uh-huh. Where we cut it, he just you just hear bullets. Spoiler alert. Hunters. That's from a a, a TV series called Hunters. Dad Bats uh turn, turned me on to that. He must get into it. Yeah. Yeah, he uh he was like, You guys talk about the butcher, it reminds me of this scene, and he sh- shoots the scene over. I'm like, oh, Every time I think of the butcher, I think of uh, Gangs of New York. Gang- Why Gangs of New York? I, There's I've, guy- seen, I've watched it, but I, I'm not recalling. Daniel Day Lewis's character is named the Butcher. Oh, uh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. See, there's a lot of shit that I I I'd be forgetting shit, man. Yeah, Gangs of New York. Uh-oh. Go can go watch that movie. That movie is fucking yeah, awesome. Yeah, I've I've definitely seen it. It's pretty good. Hell yeah. yeah. 
So, anyway. <clears throat> the butcher. It's the butcher. Not. It's a nut. Uh, whatever the fuck. I think I'd like you to leave now. Hirsch. Hirsch. Yeah, that's an intense ass scene. If you want to see it, just, just uh, check it out. Yeah, just ask. Speaking of dad bats, I got my own dad bat in my <laughs> hand. Yeah, DH. Yeah, man. How do you like your bat, bro? Dude, it's freaking awesome, bro. You I, don't I love even... how it feels. That's what she said. Love how it feels in my hands. That's also what she said. Love how it feels in my mouth. What? Uh, sorry. sorry. You I'm said sorry. that. <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> yeah, no, man. The bat's clean. I, I see yours has some marks on it already. Because I use it. Squared a few up already, it looks mm-hmm. like. A little bit. Yeah. At least foul them, foul them off. This uh-huh. is pretty, though. I, th- I kind of want to display it in the pod room mm-hmm. at home, but I kind of don't. Mm-hmm. I kind of want to get out and, and swing it. Ooh. I kind of want to see what it does. This is getting you. Uh, I want to see how I want to hear how it sounds. So mm-hmm. I just wouldn't put that godforsaken lizard skin on it. <laughs> what would you put on it? I put on the just traditional bat tape, mm-hmm. traditional bat tape. Yeah. You know, fatten the knob up a little bit. So you got to right. choke up a tiny, yeah. tiny bit, maybe yeah. just like a half inch or so. Mm-hmm. And uh, that's fair, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, d- d- Dad bad be talking shit to me. He's like, why you put that fucking dis- ah. lizard skins on it? And I'm just like, hey, bro, this is just what I'm fucking used to. I'm sorry. Yeah, I remember you used to use the traditional I, bat tape, yeah. though. You know, yeah. I'd it's, see you it, in the dugout dude, just it, taping that shit up. It tears up my gloves, dude. And like, I, I use these golf gloves. Like, I, I don't well, that's wa- why. I, I don't want to get into it. Like, they, the, the golf gloves that I use now, they used to make them as baseball bat, base, baseball bat, baseball batting gloves. Mm hmm. But uh, uh, yeah, it's the Louisville Slugger, uh, the Bionics. No. I finally found I found the golf club, the golf glove version. Oh, you did? Yeah, I found the golf version. And Where'd I, you find it at? Uh, on their website. <laughs> All right, <laughs> BionicGloves.com or some bullshit like that. Uh, so I found. I mean, they were selling for like fifty percent off. So I was like, <laughs> buy, buy. So I bought two pairs. You know, oh, just boy. kind of in anticipation of like I could possibly play some baseball soon. Okay. So, but, you know, so you're putting I, them to use, huh? Yeah, I've been using them. I've been oh using them. I mean, they look like regular batting gloves. They're just, they're like they're a little different. They're a little slightly different. You think they're the same, but they're just marketed for golfers? Oh fuck yeah! Are they cheaper? Or are they less? They're less expensive. No, they're right? they're about the same. Really? They're about the same as high end batting gloves. You know what's weird is I went to um I went to Dick's not too long ago and I mm-hmm. bought the the small wiffles. Yeah, but I bought the golf version. Like it just yeah. basically. All it says on the packages is this golf, you know, practice balls. Mm-hmm. But there's more in the package than there is right. for the baseball, the baseball practice. Ones, yeah. And they're cheaper. Yep. <laughs> Caught the only difference too, yeah. is the, the name on it says it's the golf market. practice balls. Yeah. If you can get past that. Yeah. Then you got yourself a deal. Oh, shit. How's it look on Amazon, though? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't let me know. see. Let me see. But I, yeah, I bought a couple of packs of them because. Do you remember how much you paid? Oh man, it was a pack. There, each pack was sixteen, so I bought thirty-two, mm-hmm. and I want to say I don't know how much exactly they were, but they were probably like they were less than twenty bucks each. Mm-hmm. Whereas the the baseball practice wiffles, the tiny ones, yeah. they were in a pack of twelve, right? And they were if 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 they weren't the same price, they were a little more. Mm-hmm. Let me see. I got, and I got it through Dicks. Dicks. On Amazon, you're looking at about let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. About uh eight whatever eight times seven is fifty four? Fifty six. Fifty six? Uh for fifteen bucks. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Yep. Only oh, gotta save five percent with coupon. Word. I might buy this shit myself. Do it. Do it. Yeah. Um yeah, fifty pack, uh fourteen ninety nine. Hundred pack, twenty bucks. Wow. Even better. Get yourself a get yourself a But are they pack. like the cheap plastic? Like are they probably like, you know, they're like they're almost paper thin. Mm-hmm. You know, what is, isn't that what you bought? No, dude. The ones the wiffles that I bought are like a thicker plastic. So mm-hmm. they don't dent. They don't dent as easily as right. you know, the paper thin ones. They fly a little further. Are they yellow and black? They're just yellow. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, they're just yeah. yellow or green or whatever. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I bought those. Perfect. Anyway. Sick. 
Time for that SOS, Boski. Oh, it's our favorite time of the week. It's a lot. A Let's lot. get it. Let's get it. <laughs> start at the top. Dude, it's funny because we'll I, at the bottom. I had almost for, I forgot almost forgot to do this shit last night for obvious reasons. And then I, I, I you know, having them beers and shit, I was like, oh, fuck. I should probably do the SOS. Hell yeah. And uh, it didn't disappoint, so we're good. All right, Bozzy. Fontana start, Marlins. Start wherever you want. Let's go with there. Fon- go with I, there. I, I just go in order received. Good. That's what she said. Uh, Mar- <laughs> Fontana Marlins says, Marlins dominated the AAA division on this seven-game uh, win seven, streak. Seven game guy hit streak. That's what it says. It's probably win streak. Guy hit streak. Yeah. Uh, no one better in the division. I agree. I mean, the results speak for themselves, mm-hmm. my friend. The yep. Results speak for themselves. Yeah. It's big, uh, huge contribution to uh, because of uh, Cernus, Carlos Cernus. Oh yeah, doing his fucking thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. You know when you got when you got pitching when you got arms. Yeah. Makes a big difference, especially in Sunday league ball. Huge. A huge you also difference. need a really good catcher. I would agree with that too. You need a really good catcher. I would agree with that. Yes. Uh, next one, uh, too low X Fabe. That's uh, Fabe. He plays on the Mets. What up, Fabe? What up, Fabe? Uh, so there's three here from him. He says, "Uh oh, I think the Mets are back." I don't know if the Mets ever left, but they yeah, did. They did fair. struggle for a bit. Yeah, everybody got. They you got to go through a rough patch. Yeah. They At some point, the platoon is gonna go through a fucking rough patch. And everybody's going to be like, oh, platoon, oh, bleh. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, all right, man, be careful. Everybody's waiting for them to slip up. That's the yeah. thing. I think everybody's yeah. waiting for them mm-hmm. to slip. Yep. And the next one, he says, bring the Marlins to the majors. We want to see how they compete with the big boys. I want to see it, too. I want to see that shit, yeah. too. I mean, we know they can compete. Mm-hmm. Let's just make it happen. A thousand percent. Uh, and then <laughs> the last thing he says, the Reds are washed still. <laughs> well, you know, they're not doing a whole lot to, you know, uh, help themselves yeah. at this time. But, hey, man, the Reds are the Reds are still the Reds. You know, Indeed. They, they could still yeah. make some noise. They're going to play some ball. They're going to show up to play ball. Oh, at the very least. <laughs> they have to. <laughs> at the have to. <laughs> some motherfuckers show up and don't do anything. Not on the Reds. Not, not specifically, mm. just in general. Like, there's fools out there that they show up and don't play. Mm. Next one, Daniel De Five. Uh, that's De Santiago from the Royals. He says Royals number one underrated. Are they underrated? Are they? Are we right? talking about SoCal Royals? SoCal Royals. Are yes. they underrated? Well, at the current moment, they are number eight. Mm-hmm. They would in be the rankings. In the rankings yeah. for us, mm-hmm. they they they're high enough to be in our MySpace top eight. Yes, which you guys did talk about that last episode, did you we? and Rube. Okay. It wasn't a top ten. It was a top eight. <laughs> so yeah, I remember the top. I the MySpace top eight. I don't know if they're underranked or underrated because there's a lot of good teams out the there. The teams man. that are ahead of them, yeah. yeah, I think it. You know, it could be yeah. any 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 team's game. So yeah, I mean, but yeah, I mean, if you want to, the teams that are ahead of them in the in that are in the division also ahead of them in the power rankings. Well, not also, but all right. So number three, I.E. Pride. They're fucking undefeated. The pride or the pride. I don't. I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know like, how it gets any better than that. Yeah, you're. Un- they're undefeated. Beat them. It's that simple. simple as that. Simple as that. And then uh, also ahead of them in the power rankings is the Upland Mets, mm-hmm. reigning champs. When they played each other, they tied. Figure out that tie, and we can talk about something else. We there you, could, go. you know we can move forward. It's that simple for me. Still a great team, though. Oh, yeah. I'm not talking down the SoCal Royals. Of Rose. course. No, the, yeah. The no. Royals are fucking dogs, dude. They'll, yeah, don't. Of course. Don't fuck up because they'll take it from you. Uh, Tito. Tito hey. from the Royals. He also says also says Royals are underrated. We have the three monster lefties, the three-headed dragon, and filth from the right. Three-headed dragon would be great for your pitching staff, not mm-hmm. for your pants. I think they're all lefties, too. Oh, are they all lefties? I'm not sure if they're all throw all lefties yeah three monster lefties yep there you go i only know tito though i don't know the other two lefties oh no milo yeah, milo yeah my bad the stupid boski <laughs> <laughs> get it together clean it up uh i mean yeah same thing i don't want to reiterate it yeah they're still a great team yeah indeed toros baseball from the pasillas league he says i think we belong in the top 25 so do we so do we therefore you are therefore you are the squeaky wheel always gets the oil. The so, loudest mouth always gets fed. There you go. 
Oh man, I, we're gonna have to decide at the end of this episode what <laughs> we'll do. It. We'll put it up to a rock paper scissors for sure. Uh, Dad bads. Shout out to all you non glove wearers. Ooh, hey, that's me. That's Yo, me. That's DH. DH with the non. I no put glove. the gloves in my back pocket. <laughs> oh just, God, I just do it for do the you look. Really? I do it for the look. Okay, I know why you put them in your back pocket. Why is that? When you hit a tank, when you're when you're trotting and you're bouncing, they just, wave yeah. they wave bye bye to just, the ball. Just right? Is nice. that what it is? It just looks nice. It looks I would usually keep them in my pocket though because I would use a a, a glove for my for my catching hand when mm-hmm. I'm catching. I put a batting glove underneath. Gotcha. It. And so I would just keep it in my pocket. But mm-hmm. at the same time, you know, I I bought the pair. I wouldn't buy just one glove. Of I'd course, buy the pair. Mm-hmm. So the right one would always stay clean as fuck. <laughs> So you, so what you're telling me is that you have all these clean ass right handed batting gloves at home. Exactly. Do you really? No. Yes. <laughs> that's funny. Baseball player shit, dude. Right? Like, yeah. That's baseball player shit. I don't use them unless I start slumping. So your wife, your wife is gonna. Uh, has she ever seen it? My that, batting gloves. Like that's that that's that, that particular of stack of batting gloves. No, nah, no, 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 no. I I have one pair of batting gloves right now, oh, and okay. they're the ones that I bought previous to us doing our pickup game and they're the mm-hmm. only batting gloves that i have now gotcha. but back in the day yeah you know my i mean i would when i would use batting gloves uh, they would equally get torn up but gotcha when i started struggling i took them off and then mm. I, I was hit i would hit without them right but and you'd use the left one for catching you yeah. use the left one for catching so ever since then yeah i think i maybe had one or two sets of batting gloves where the left oh, one was okay. used i'm over here thinking like you got this like little little tub of, no. of just right-handed batting gloves that are just clean as no, fuck no, not like that. yeah i was imagining like like your wife just cleaning some shit out right yeah. she comes across this fucking thing of, of batting gloves you know she's just like looking through them like oh these are cool and then but all of a sudden, it starts noticing like they're all right-handed. They're all right-handed. Like, gloves. why are they right-handed? And then she's gonna question you, like, "Excuse me, DH. who are you giving the left one to? Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Wait, who are you giving the left one to? My left mm-hmm. hand. Yeah. Uh huh. Is it like some one of those like weird best friend necklaces that you just <laughs> give the left one to somebody? Huh? Is it Boski? Just tell me right now. Is it Boski? Oh who is it? I just need to know who it is. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's not me. So who is it? That's hilarious. I love it. Uh, so yeah, shout out to all the non glove wearers. I'm not a non glove wearer. Yeah. I, I wear gloves and lizard tape. You sure do. Yeah, for your just, soft hands. I got some. I mean, yeah, I still got my calluses. We're good. All right, we're good. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm feeling. Yeah, I'm good. I still got calluses. As long as you got calluses, I think you're okay. But you got some little. As I check my hands. <laughs> <laughs> How do you check your nails, bro? Do you go like this or do you go like this? Oh, I've seen that before. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, who who does this to themselves? Like, this. no, what you the have fuck? to. What do you mean this? How do you check your nails? Like, show me what you were doing. Like this? As, or, a, as, a, as a dude, I'm going to do this. Or like this. But as a woman. <laughs> oh, it's like this. I'm yeah. not. I'm not that. So, yeah. But I've seen my you. wife go like this. As a dude? Yeah, you got to. Okay. Curl the fingers and turn the palm back. Kind of like a fist. Yeah. Like yeah, there you go. Uh, how do you guys check your nails? Tell us. I don't really want to know. Muscle Dang John Lane says the FBL Blue Jays are going to make the playoffs with four forfeit wins. They're actually two and six. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think actually they're two and five, six and five. If we're, I mean, it would have been nice for the Tropics to get some of those forfeit wins. <sighs> that's for sure. It happens, man. I mean, I'd rather play them out. I mean, you honestly. guys are the Tropics are just one game behind the Blue Jays, so yeah, it the, plays in their favor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So if uh, if they lose next week and we win, yeah, you guys are tied, and so we're tied, and we head to head record. And no? we we would go to. I, I'm assuming we would go to the head to head, and we would be in. All right, in that sixth spot. There you go. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up, Blue Jays. Uh, next I'm one, you, Boski. Oh me? Yeah. Okay. Next one again from Dad Bats. He says pine tar over lizard skins, and I'll die on that hill. All so what he's saying day. is put your lizard skin on and then put pine tar over it. That's not what he's saying. No, I'm, I'm twisted his words. I'm like, wait a minute. I know. I've twisted his words. I know what he meant. Mm-hmm. Tiger stick. Yeah. I like the tiger, tiger stick. stick. Yeah. Um. I mean, it looks cool. It just is not for me. Mm. It doesn't work for me show but it works for a lot of dudes for sure next guy is a baseball guru that's new hey baseball guru like two three u's at the end better than baseball grew <laughs> baseball guru i want to see your fucking face put some pictures up could be anybody i want to see it uh says that guy patrick from the socal royals is a fucking animal capital letters 
Uh, good season Reds. Good season Reds. Good game Royals. GG's Royals. That's a good game, right? Yeah. Okay, GG's yeah. Royals. So I, I'm assuming this dude is on the Reds. All right, baseball yeah. guru. Let's see your face, baseball guru. He doesn't want to. He doesn't want to show you. I I want him to show he show, it to show me. you his face. Show it to me. Never. We wants to know. Nobody. I mean, he's he's giving a compliment. Nobody knows who the baseball guru is. It's a big, big mystery. Big mystery. I Nobody res- will ever know. I respect it. Next one, Dvax zero zero from the platoon. He says Jimmy Lloyd has big balls. Hashtag platoon. Jimmy Lloyd has big. <laughs> Why have you seen him? Yeah, D-Vax, have you seen him? Jeez, what <laughs> the fuck? Show him to us. I'm just kidding. No, I don't want to see him either. <laughs> Next no up, cup can contain them. Yeah, they've. he doesn't know what cup check is. <laughs> D-Vax uh, zero, 0 again says, Platoon down four runs, going into the bottom of the eighth, and win 6-4. to four. We went over Sounds that about already. right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Shocker. Platoon only fell behind just so they could come from behind. Like... They yeah. intentionally, you know, start doing so? like, All right, guys, let's, you know, time to turn it up because, you know, we're tired of winning all the time. So. <laughs> we're tired. Let's of, see if we can. We're try. tired of just killing everybody. Let's, like, make a, let's, let's, let's do make a comeback. It let's exactly. simulate a comeback. <laughs> simulate. Exactly. <laughs> Have you ever seen, uh, I'm sure you've seen The Incredibles, the Disney movie, The Incredibles, yeah. with uh, the little boy who's, like, mm-hmm. in a in a, a track and field race, mm-hmm. and they're telling him, slow down, slow down, and then he finally picks it up at the end of the race. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Disney movies. Love it. Uh, let me see. Next That's one. That's the difference between me and you, Boski. You bring up Scarface and Godfather, and I bring up Disney. I mean, no. I, I'm I'm kind of neck deep into Disney right now, dude. Mm. I'm neck deep. Fucking my little one, Moana. All the way. She's just like, ah. Uh, she calls it Coco, but it's Moana. <laughs> and then uh, she calls Frozen 2. She goes, ah. She does, ah, because you know how the, char- yeah. the, the character goes, ah. Or whatever, like the voice that's speaking to her and shit. Yeah. Which I will say though, I don't know if I said this shit last week. I feel like I did, but I'm gonna say it again. Uh, Moana, that's Batman. I don't think you said that on the episode. Okay, that's Batman. Watch the movie, and then like just look at what she does. Like, that's fucking Batman. That's <laughs> Batman, bro. That's Batman. Okay, Batman. Right. Straight up. I mean, who else is Batman in there? She got no powers, but like she just gets it done. Okay, <laughs> maybe I think maybe you did say something like that. So then, yeah. who, who's Robin? Hey, hey, uh, Maui. <laughs> <laughs> Robin is Maui. <laughs> nah, I think Maui would be more like Superman. Oh, okay, because they yeah. don't get along, but they kind of do get along. Yeah. Like, yeah, Robin and Hey, hey have a little more similarities to them. Yeah, to themselves. So. Um, I guess maybe Robin would be like the little pig. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, whatever. Hey, sure. just eat him. Let's move on. Move on. Move on from the shenanigans. SoCal Royals, Royals baseball says that uh, this FBL playoff race in the majors division is actually insane. Best league in California. You know, it's, it's hard to argue against that. It is insane. Hard to argue. It against is insane. It. There's so many teams that are just way too close to each. I mean, it's a seven team race, I guess. Yeah. And believe it, the overrated Indians are still in it. Yeah, man. As a matter of fact, looking at it, the Indians could still miss the playoffs. What? They're six and four with two games to go. The Hammered Heads could still miss the playoffs. They're also six and four with two games to go. The Blue Jays could still miss the playoffs. They're five they're six and five with one to go. And the Tropics at five and six can still make playoffs potentially. It is possible. Yeah. It is possible. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Mets, let me see, Pride, obviously, Royals, Mets, they're guaranteed. It's those, yeah, it's those last ones, Sun yeah, Devils. Well, the teams that are out, for sure, the Reds, the Brew Crew, the Gators, mm-hmm. the Marlins. Yeah. It's going to be a, a fight to the finish, Boski. You can't uh, slip. I can't. Get them dubs. I can't. I can't. It, 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 damn, that shit really is insane, dude. The top seven. You got seven teams fighting for six spots, basically, yep. the, the way I'm looking at it. Next one, Romo 12 ER. Um, oh, he's, he played with Awatlan. Uh, I think his name's Oscar. Uh, he says, it's time for a CBA team uh, gets into the top 25. I'm sure the top teams can beat teams on that list. Ooh. Well, I'll, I'll say this. Can your team beat a team in the elite? In the elite. In the elite. Because uh, I'm pretty sure the elite is the top division in the CBA. He. Yeah. Well, you know, the... I would say the box has been opened. 
Mm-hmm. So, hey, if you think you should be in there, well, I mean, yeah, let's see how they perform against some of those elite teams. Yeah. You're talking about the uh, CBA, San Fernando Valley? Yep. San Fernando Valley CBA League. Yeah, well, hey, th- at least they update their, their scores. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe <laughs> they, they update, that'll, that'll, that'll give you an advantage. They yeah, had, dude, for sure. At least you can get like kind of sneak in for a week or something. For sure. All right, good stuff. Yeah. Next one. Taco says Ranchito says heard the vaqueros are begging for wins. <laughs> Ooh, wow. I need more context because that sounds fun. I don't know if they're begging for wins, um, but Va- if they're not getting them that way, you better start paying for them. The, va- <laughs> the vaqueros play in the FBL AAA. Oh, they play against the the Marlins and stuff. The Vaqueros are eight and two. Yeah, I don't know if they. I don't know if they. I mean, if they're trying, if they're trying to just get like the first place trophy, like, mm. well, if you're begging for wins for that, I, I mean, I don't know if they're begging for wins. I don't know I either. Can't speak to Somebody that. Somebody could be crying wolf. Mm-hmm. We'll see. But Vaqueros are eight and two, so keep on doing your thing. Keep on doing your thing. Uh, Taco says Ranchito also says. We're gonna finish this division off and come, and oh. come get in these fucking rankings. Ooh. Oh, that's the Marlins. Fantana. I love it. Yeah, they, they want, want it. They, they they want they want to be in the rankings. They want man. the smoke. They're like, hey, what about me, fucker? <laughs> I gotta love it. And then then it says, uh, sorry, Boski, been drinking, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I drink more, please. <laughs> yeah, take another shot. <laughs> another one. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, a Peters twenty seven. He says platoon down four nothing in the bottom of the eighth with one out and coming back to win six to four. Big dick energy. BDE all BDE, the way. Yep, BDE. The way. I love that shit. Uh next one. Uh, again, shout out to Platoon. Uh next one from Awatlan Baseball. Let us slide into the top twenty five. Even, even if it is at the low twenty five. <laughs> <laughs> they just wanted to they just want to smell it. Hey man, I'll let you touch it. Yeah, you can touch it. Touch it. You can lick it. <laughs> I didn't say that. Wait, what? What? <laughs> huh? Uh, let me see. Uh, I got, got three more. Hey. Um, which one do I want to go with? Let's do the shout out real quick because it, one of them is more of a shout out. Excellent. We have a league champ. It's a new league that I've never heard of. Oh really? Yeah, man. Uh, it's the Whittier League. Whittier. Whittier out in out in Whittier. Ah, you don't say. You don't say. So Salvador uh, Salvador Macedo reached out and uh, sent us a, a picture. Of, of his dick. Of his dick. Stupid thing. There we go. Instagram, man. I'm telling you. All right. So uh, let me see. The Whittier League champs are the Tarao Maras. Okay. Tarao. Th- the, in the Whittier, Whittier League? Whittier, Whittier Baseball League. Okay. The, the Wobble. The Wobble. The Wobble. The Wobble. Um, 35 plus division champs. Tara Omara beat Ensenada 3 to 1. All right. Yeah. So shout out to Tara Omara. Do you know what a Tara Omara is? Tara Omara. Do you know what that is? Tara Omara is something that you order when um, you when you're out of what's Amara. <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, no, but that's I not a Tara. A Tara Omara, th- they're actually. Uh, they're like an Indian tribe in Mexico. Oh, kind of like in Chihuahua. Kind of. I only know this because this is where my dad's from, and uh, they're like super athletes, dude. It's crazy. Like there, there's a book called uh, it's about it's about their like their tribe and stuff, and like they literally just jog everywhere they go. What barefoot and everything. Like Damn. traditionally is barefoot. Um, I want to say that the book's called like Super Athlete or something like that. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I'd, I'd have to Google it. I'm not gonna Google it. But uh, Tarahumaras are super athletes in Mexico. I'd be scared to name my team the Tarahumaras. Why is that? Because I'd feel like I'm not living up to the expectations. Ah, it's a high standard to, f- to it's fulfill. A high standard, yeah. No, I get it, dude. Um, but yeah, shout out, shout out to the Tarahumaras beating Ensenada, uh, three to one. Excellent. Congratulations. Yep. Congrats, dog. Now put your shoes on. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> uh, let me see. Next one. Um, do you want to answer the question or do you want to go with a statement? It sounds like truth or dare. Well, we're going to do both, but which one do you want to do first? <laughs> <laughs> Let's answer the question. Let's answer. All right. From uh, Dustin Evans. Hey. Yeah. He says, what defines a great team? 
What defines a great team? What defines a great team, DH? You know what, man? You gotta be, you gotta be selfless. Mm-hmm. You gotta be selfless. Yeah. Everybody, not just one person, not just the best person. Mm-hmm. You gotta be selfless. Right. Give it up if you have to. Give up what? Uh, well, you know, just what? What's the best outcome in the moment for the team? Mm-hmm. You know, whether you gotta hit a sack fly, whether you gotta hit it to the right side, whether you gotta drop a bunt. Mm-hmm. You know, whether you gotta. You know, I do, don't know. Do what you got to do to get yeah. the dub. Great teams, you know, everybody kind of knows, you know, what the common goal is. And that's to win the game yeah. regardless of what you have to do to win the game. Mm-hmm. Aside from cheating, don't cheat. Don't cheat. <laughs> don't cheat the game. Yeah. You're cheating yourself. Uh, I mean, yeah, I thousand percent agree, agree with you. Yeah. And, and also uh, wins. Wins make a wins, great team. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Wins make the great you team. You can be a great but, team, you know. How do you get the wins though? I, I, like, are you a one-sided team that's just always hitting bombs, or right? You just have that stud pitcher who's just going to shut everybody down, and mm-hmm. all you got to do is score two runs. Yeah, no, you got to have an overall, you know, got to have an overall understanding from everybody. Right, we can't be caning seventeen guys every game either. Sometimes you know? both of you might have to hit seventh because uh, I do. who you're facing. I do hit seventh. There you go. See, yeah. and you do it, and you do it because you I, know it's for hey, the man, team. I just do it. It's for the team. <sighs> I do a lot. <laughs> Some stuff that happens sometimes, and I'm just like, you, you know, it involves others touching your wood. Yeah, indeed. Um, so yeah, I mean, yeah, dubs and all the stuff you said. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. All right. Perfect. And also, I think also too, what defines a great team is like, like asking yourself the question, like, how do I, can I phrase this question? Um, how how awesome is it to play for this team? Cause like you can be, you can win all the ball games in the world, but if like it sucks playing for these guys, like is it really a great team? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or like like do you look forward to showing up and sacrificing all the shit that you just said? You yeah. know, like show up and do whatever it's gonna take to win. Yeah, to win that game, mm-hmm. that moment, yeah. and win a lot. Yeah, win a lot. Win a lot. Often, oh, for yeah. sure. Yeah. All right, let's uh, move it along with the last one uh, from Sal D'Angelo, the manager. Of hey, what up, Sal? The platoon. The platoon the or platoon. the platoon? The platoon, platoon. You guys figure it out. He says the platoon army is 7-0 and and now in first place. Are you not entertained? <laughs> Basically, I'm fucking entertained. Oh, hell yeah. I love this shit, dude. Oh, hell yeah. They... Look, man, the platoon, they want to face everyone and beat everyone. That's, they want all the smoke. All they the literally smoke. want all the smoke. So if you had some smoke, like anywhere, sh- directed at them. Under the couch. Mm, yep, on 420. In your bed. You got some smoke, mm-hmm. just smoke it that way. Just, you know, coming out of your shower. Yeah. yeah. You know. Don't come at us with your smoke. No, no. I don't, I don't care what you have to say at, about other people to us. Sal wants it. Sal wants to yeah, hear he wants di- it. directly. Yeah, he wants the smoke. He wants to smoke. Of you course, anything you tell us, we keep to ourselves, you know. <laughs> unless it's on the podcast. Well, unless it's on SOS. Unless it's on it's, SOS. Unless it's on SOS. But if, if it's anything else, like, I do a pretty good job of keeping all that shit internal, you know. And it's it's, it's cool knowing a lot of shit, I will say. <laughs> it's like, oh, hey. I'll tell DH, like, hey, guess what? Like, <laughs> you want to hear some cheese, man? Yeah, dude. We got we get all the cheese, man. It's pretty cool. I like cheese, man, man. Yeah, man. My popcorn. It's my popcorn it's time. Your, yeah, it is. Monday mornings, always fun. <laughs> always fun, man. Popcorn and, uh, kernels found all over the floor <laughs> at Boski's house. Boski's house. On Monday. Yeah. After the podcast drops. At 5 a.m. At 5 a.m., all these fools hitting up Boski. Man. <laughs> and Boski's right there. Dude, I'm just like fucking the thunder, thunder thumbs on my phone. Just... My wife's like, hey, the baby. And I'm just like, shh. <laughs> the Bush leagues are messaging. Shut up. No, I don't yeah, put her back it. to sleep. <laughs> she's all working and shit. Damn. <laughs> Sometimes she works from home on Mondays. She's like, hey, she's the baby. I'm just like, what? What do you want? Leave me alone. The Sunday league. It's for the boys. It's blowing up. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then I'll tell her. She's like, oh, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, Boski, as you were. But it's funny. My wife does not call me Boski. 
<laughs> it's Babe or it's Ralph. Well, my wife doesn't call me DH. No, either. naturally. Of course. Yeah. They never would. They'd be like, get out of here, fool. DH. <laughs> Pussy. <laughs> what is it? Because you can't throw? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she says to me. Really? She says that shit? She fucks around with me too much. Uh, she's pretty, she sounds serious to me, man. <laughs> she sounds pretty pretty accurate to Which, me. You know, some of these dudes in major leagues have been getting the same injuries as I've that I've had. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Garrett Mitchell from the Brewers. Yeah. Did you see his injury? No. Slid into third, head first, uh, mm. popped his shoulder out. Yeah. But he stayed in the game. Went back out to play center field. Uh, uh, I only know this because it was against the Mariners, but mm. he uh, was somebody from Seattle hits a deep fly ball, sack fly. He catches it. Mm. Mind you, he separated his left shoulder Okay, and he throws right handed. So he caught it and then he came up throwing. But even oh. from the momentum of, you know, his body's momentum. Yeah. Popped his shoulder out. Oh. <laughs> so he he's done Damn. for the rest of the year. Yeah. Garrett Mitchell. I think that also happened to uh, the Angels catcher. Oh, Hoppy. Oh, hop. Uh, Torn labrum Yeah some shit Like It happened against Boston originally Yes Yeah I was watching him And he was facing Where the fuck he was facing He took a hack And uh, he just kind of like Just dropped to the ground He was like Oh fuck Like, And he was kind of He finishes that bat Yeah I think he finished the game Or some shit Yeah and he comes on to like play like the next day or two, and then the the same shit happens, dude. And yeah, and but like now he takes a swing and just pops out or whatever happens. Yeah, and he was pretty emotional the last time it happened. Yeah, so he's gonna have to have surgery. He's gonna be out for a few months. Yeah, it it's sucks. been happening a lot these shoulder yeah, injuries. Dude. Yeah, it's and and every time I see it, I cringe. Of course, you know, because I remember how yeah. I rem- like those feelings of just like shoulder pops out. What else do you do but just hit the ground and mm-hmm. try to like pop it back in somehow, yeah. some way. Yeah, you can you can function when it's back in, but it's that's you know. what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. It's easy. You can, you can function. It's just you don't have all that strength, you right? Know? And for some of these guys that don't throw right handed, mm. yeah, it's it's gonna suck for a while. But yeah, eventually you got to get it fixed. Yeah, injuries suck, man. I know. I'm I'm dealing with some shit right now. My fuck, like I said earlier, my fucking quad was like meh. Yeah, yeah. I, I came out again. I was like, Nah, dude, I just can't. I I don't want to hurt the team. I did a team thing, you know. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. One yeah, of them you're... team things. And I was just like well, team player. All of a sudden, when you want to get taken out of the game, <laughs> I didn't want to come. How do you think I want to come out of the fucking game? I don't know who pulled you out. Myself. <laughs> so obviously, <laughs> she did. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Pull out, she. Yeah. Oh, I got yeah. you. Okay, no, I'm okay. kidding. No, but but uh, yeah, my nah. The quad was just like, nah, dude. Like, don't don't do it. <laughs> like my fucking heels already on fire. Like. I can deal with the heel, but the, the quad, no. So what happens when you come out of retirement, Boski? Not everything's going to work exactly how it used to. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Anyway. Did you see um, Did you see Max Scherzer and his Bro. shenanigans? Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. And so uh, I, what's your take on that, man? Ten games? Ten games for for that, sweat and rosin. I think I think they fucked up. I think the umpires fucked that up. But that same fucking umpire has kicked out. He's been part of all three ejections. For What's his name? I know you know his name. Phil Cuzzy. That bastard. He's been part of every yeah. single pitcher ejection for yeah. substance use. Yeah. So it was one guy from the Mariners. Was it the Mariners guy? Um, Was it? Like or was he on the Nationals? Ah, fuck I don't even team. remember who they were. That yeah, was a lefty. Uh, one guy was a lefty, and then there's Scherzer, and then uh, uh, was it a Yankee? Domingo German was it German? Nah, that's no. the fool. That was on ESPN against Boston. Like this shit was just like he took mud and just went. On his that was neck. uh that was Michael Pineda. That was oh, Michael Pineda. Oh, you're was right. You're ago. right. You're right. Yeah, was long I don't time. remember who has been tossed now, but yeah, I just know that Cousins was he was he's been the umpire for all three of them. Right. So he's a he's a little ambitious. You know, he's a little ambitious with his hooks. He's like, I'm trying to stay in here, <laughs> trying to trying to you know mm-hmm. show that I'm the man. I'm the man. People came to watch me today. <laughs> uh, should we talk standings just real quick? I mean, I mean, we already, I already know where the Mariners are at. So, I oh yeah, care. they stink. Yeah, they fucking suck. Damn, right but it's okay. They're gonna turn it around. Mm. I, I got it. You know, it's a long season. It's a mm. long season. You got to be optimistic. Uh, do the Texas Rangers surprise you? A little bit. Uh huh. They definitely surprise me a little yeah. bit. I think Degrom made a good choice. As of right now, he looks like a genius. Yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. But they're they're also beaten up on like the A's, for example. Like that one game that they just absolutely destroyed mm-hmm. them. They're the A's. Yeah. But 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 with that being said, like everybody gets to destroy the A's. 
True that. A's suck four and eighteen. The A's are ass. <laughs> ass crack, dude. Negative one oh three. I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if ownership is intentionally trying to put the worst team possible. Yeah. Without making it look intentional. Right. Because they do have good players on the team. Who the fuck is good on the A's? Well, I mean <laughs> first off Name one guy that's good on the A's. Okay, you got you got the catcher Shea Langoliers, who was a, a top okay. top draft pick mm-hmm. from Atlanta, Doesn't and they got good. him they got him for for Sean Murphy okay. when they sent him to Atlanta, mm-hmm. and so he's you know he's good ish, you good ish he's good ish. <laughs> you got um, but that's the thing like you know like they're putting players on the roster on the major league roster that are good and. They're not like single A players, you know. They're not rookie level players. Mm-hmm. They're, you know, triple A slash quad A type of players. <laughs> but they but they may not be, you know, the best best Ju- talent. Juris Familia. I remember him. <laughs> you he's remember a, him. Yeah, he's the he used to be a closer you for the Mets. Remember him. <laughs> That's exactly you just yeah. remember him. Yeah, yeah. He's you remember him being bad? I remember him being the closer for the Mets. At one point, he was good. Yeah, he was a little, at one point, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, Shintaro Fujinami. They got him from Japan. From Japan. Throws gas. He throws only on Saturdays, by the way. <laughs> if you so, if you need a streamer, don't pick him Saturday up. Saturday league. Don't the podcast. Don't, don't get him. Don't get him. He dude's having a shit year because dude's six six one eighty. Jesus Christ, he's scrawny. Zach Jackson, I mean, he was oh, he was okay last year. Did you say Zach Jackson? Zach. Zach. Oh, Zach. Zach. I probably said Zach. So you said Zach. I probably did. Uh, James Caprillion. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He's their he's their pitcher, starting pitcher. Oh, this name's awesome. Richard Lovelady. Oh, he's a reliever. Dick he, Lovelady. He can- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Let's Dickie love lady. D- Dickie loves. Let's go. Yeah, he used to play for the Royals. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I see Royals. I see these pictures here. That's funny, man. Richard Love Lady. That's But see, that's what I'm saying. Like these are guys that have, you know, played in the show maybe at some point, mm. but maybe well past their best years. Chad Smith. Generic. But I did see Mason Miller that he's supposed to be pretty solid. Oh yeah, yeah, one hundred two. Yeah. yeah, came up throwing gas, but uh-huh. like I said, I think they're intentionally trying to put a bad team on there without making it look intentional. Mm. And they're gonna do. They're gonna have a pretty shitty year. <clears throat> I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if they break the record for the most losses in a season. Dude, they're on the way. They're they're on pace for like thirty something wins for the whole year, mm-hmm. which is by far the worst ever. Yeah, that's funny, man. So. Let me see. Uh, fuck. Who else we got? My Boston Red Sox, twelve and eleven in last place. Let's go. That's not bad for last place. <laughs> well, as you know, the East is very, is built different. So. It sure is. Yeah, dude. Uh, that's all. Of, how's your fantasy teams? Ye- I lost this week to Rube. Oh, how bad was it? It wasn't too too bad, but uh-huh. um, yeah, I did leave one of my starting pitchers on the bench one day. And that didn't look good. Uh, I had James Outman on my squad, and James Outman, uh, I'm sure you've heard of him. Uh, Never he, heard of her. He's been, <laughs> he had a hell of a week, yeah. to say the least. Yeah, yeah. And that didn't help because Rube's got him. So, so you dropped him, and then Rube I picked him up. I dropped him, and then Rube picked him right up. Like what? He the? was he was probably like, look at this idiot. He was just, <laughs> yeah, he probably picked him up on waivers. He was just sitting there with his mouth wide open like a baby bird. <laughs> Just waiting for Mama Bird to drop Jesus. the worm in his mouth. Oh man! That's and when right. you mean worm, <laughs> I mean you worm. Mean worm. <laughs> and when I mean Mama Bird, oh. <laughs> I mean that guy in jail. <laughs> oh shit! Big bubble. Everybody knows Mama Bird's got the worm. Oh shit! That's fucking. Funny. <laughs> oh man! Uh, hey man! Well, there you go. You lost a little rube. I sure did. How's Sex. our How's our podcast team? Oh, undefeated. Oh boy! Undefeated, we went up against uh, the captain and Monday's hangout uh, for for this week. I will say that motherfucker is my goddamn fantasy kryptonite. Mm. He beat he beat me last year. He tied me in the championship, which somehow I won the year before. Mm. Um, and then uh, beat me last week in our personal league, and he had me all week this week. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't know what the fuck I did. But I fucking rolled the dice and I said, you know what? Let me get uh 
Let me get this motherfucker, Patrick Corbin. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, let me get this motherfucker, Patrick Corbin, because... Uh, Caught lightning in a bottle, didn't you? Dude, yeah, he, he put up he put up uh, some points for me today. Let me see. Uh, he put up, put up 11 points. I needed it. That's not bad. Not bad, man. Uh, but I will say... Uh, Masataka Yoshida. He had two home, two home runs in one he inning. He sure did. Man. He sure did with the grand slam. The fat points, fat fucking mm-hmm. points. Yeah, I fucking just finally figured it out. Unzipped his pants. Said here, DH. The, the Red Sox are hot, baby. All of a sudden. Post-game. All of a sudden. All of a yeah. sudden. They're about to get insanely hot. They're gonna go on a t- on twenty game losing. They're streak. They're about to be insanely disappointed. I know. I know. No, they're gonna, they're they're figuring it out. Well, thank you for holding down our Sunday League the podcast uh, fantasy team. Yeah, man, undefeated, uh, undefeated so far. Yeah. That's great. That's great. The reigning champ is undefeated. I'm two and one in our personal league. So True. Same. I'm no longer undefeated now, but yeah. it's all right. Yeah. You can come back from this victory. Yeah, there's a lot of teams in that league. As a matter of fact, that are uh, we're all two and one. Bunch of scrubs. Let me see. You lost a team goat. Team Goat, I believe. I didn't won. lose the Team Goat. I lost it. No, team but I'm. But he, uh, he's undefeated. Team Goat, where the fuck did you go? Yep, Team Goat is three and zero. It's my boy Julio going up against John Lane this week. I'm gonna whoop his motherfucking ass. Oh boy, I, I had my turn with him already last week. It sounds hot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this motherfucker was was stretching in, in at the left field uh, foul pole. Yeah, he was in full Cobra, dude. Just like, Ooh. yeah, I was just like. I, I ran over. I'm like, would it be weird if I uh, did the same thing right in front of you? <laughs> and we just sat here for five minutes. <laughs> Pucker in your lips. I mean, would it be weird? It'd be No, it'd be romantic. Hot. It's real hot. Yeah, it'd be very yeah. romantic. Shout out to Stino for hitting a triple off of the butcher. Oh, <laughs> yeah. damn. Straight up just, just barreled one up into the right center gap. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Not like, down oh, the line, in the gap. In the gap, dude. Just got on his horse and took yeah. off. Outfielders were running it down. He's just chugging right along over the third base, oh, knocked boy. in a runner too. Oh shit! Yeah, man, Stino you know, doing his thing, man. Awesome, man. man that's dude. That's dope. Former guest of the show. That's right. Yeah, man. He should run for mayor. That, that Sunday league rub. Very nice, man. Very nice. Yeah. Well, what else we got, got, man? That's, that's it. Not much, dude. Not, not much. a whole lot. Yeah. No. I mean, MLB is MLB. Yeah. You know, it's, there's shows for that. Sunday leagues is where it's at, though. Mm-hmm. Sunday um, leagues is where it's at. Here. Yeah, we keep we keep getting these teams that want this uh, tournament to happen. It just might one day, just one might day, one day, one day. We keep yeah. we keep throwing around. We got a lot of ideas. To we keep throw throwing around different ideas on how it's going to work. But hey, you know uh, that's the end goal. I think it was to ultimately mm-hmm. get one of these tournaments done. Mm-hmm. And yeah, and see, then never do it again. I'm kidding. Who's really about it? <laughs> <laughs> but that could be a very likely outcome. Is we do it once and then it never happens yeah. again. It just it honestly, dude, it sounds just intimidating. It's like it's a lot, you know, it's a lot to organize because if you think about at least 16 teams, maybe 20, 25 teams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Each team has at least what? 12, 12 players, 15 players on their roster. Mm -hmm. You're going to be dealing with like two, 300 different people at one time. Yeah. And and then you're going to run into that one issue where something happens and like you got to make a decision as a tournament director. Umpires and fields. Mm -hmm. What if it rains? Exactly. You know what I mean? But anyway, regardless. Just somebody shoot me in the head, please. <laughs> regardless, hey, you know, if we keep talking about it, it'll happen. Yeah. You build, we build it, they will come. Yes, I love that. Field of dreams. Very nice. Perfect. All right, man. Uh, that's about it. I got my dad bet, and I got five books. Five books? I don't want to scream it too loud. <laughs> I don't want to scream you can it. You start hearing your little girl. <laughs> You saw how she was yeah, earlier, dude. She's cool. She's cool. She's she was tired. I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I, when I was here and she was, you know, she was crying. It wasn't that bad. If it was worse earlier, uh, then I'm, I'm glad well, I wasn't here for that. That's well, all you. I, I mean, you also don't get. You don't hear it all day long. No, that's true. <laughs> she was seen her at the restaurant. She's like, dude, she's like, just sit down. Just sit down. <laughs> just, would you fucking chill out and just sit down in your high chair that the restaurant kindly provides for you? <laughs> No, because it's not fun. It's not. It's not. Yeah, it's, it's not, not fun. You know what's a lot of fun? Screaming at the top of my lungs. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Especially when I get to say five bucks. I'm sorry, Bosky. Five bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I said, bro? I said. You know what I said to her? I said. I said, bitch.
Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I remember that skit. That's some funny shit. Kim Peel for all you motherfuckers. Yeah, season Kim. one. This is, okay, I need to season watch more one. of that stuff. That's some funny shit though. Hell yeah, that's those dick and fart jokes that I like. Hell yeah. <laughs> all right, man, let's get the fuck out of here. For real, it's man. Late. All right, you thanks folks, for having you. me back, Boski. Oh, thanks for coming back, man. I'm, sure. glad, I'm glad you made it back across the motherfucking ocean. Sure did. Pacific Ocean and safely shit. on a boat. So, you were you on a boat? No, I'm just kidding. No. Oh. That'd be a long trip. Long dude. ass trip. I swam. Damn. Can you swim? Or you, do you know how to swim? Oh, hell yeah. Oh. Pro swimmer. Oh, I can't swim. Pre- I'm professionally not good at swimming. I'll teach you. I'm really heavy. You're going to have to carry me. You're going to have to put your arms under my stomach, dude, and just like carry me across the pool as like I pretend to paddle. Oh, that sounds I sweet. can't even do it with floaties, bro. That sounds sweet. Imagine if we made a vlog out of it. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't fucking think so. Not doing that. All right, man. Put my fat ass on a camera. (laughs) We out of here. Yeah, all right. Thanks for lending us your ears, you motherfucking bush leaguers. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.